Hello, 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 and welcome everyone to day two of FIDE World Cup, which is being held at Baku. And guys, yesterday you all were following this exciting event. We have uh, 17 Indians playing in this tournament who have qualified, and nine of them did play yesterday, and we had we were unbeaten. So here it is. You can see the top row over here right now. Uh, all of them are play, going to be playing right now. The rest of the eight players over here, they have a bye. So this tournament is being held at Baku. It's from 30th July to 24th August. A long, long event there like a marathon. 206 players in the open section, 103 in the women's section and... Just look at the price one, two and a half million dollars. Can you, do you remember how much would it be in Indian rupees? So that's the highest, uh, let me tell you that. And going, going to the next slide here, this is the time control which we have. Two classical games, yesterday was the first one with the same opponent and today will be the second, second one. And if... The score is one one all. Then it goes to tie break. That is tomorrow. It will go to the next day. We can we as we know Gukesh, Vidit, Arjun, uh, Pragnanda, Nihal, Hampi, Harika, and Vaishali. They have got a buy in the first round. They are directly qualified to the second round because. Uh, they are seeded in the top 50 in men's and top 25 in women's. That is the reason they have already qualified. Here we have SL Narayanan who yesterday beat Providence. I am Providence Otlotse uh, with a classical rating of 2199. So if today SL Narayanan draws his game, he is already uh, in round 2. Abhimanyu will be playing Luis Fernando. And yesterday he did beat him and today he has white pieces. Adiban yesterday drew with GM Henderson. So today he will be white and if he is able to beat Henderson, he qualifies for the next round which will be against Daniel Dubov. Going to the, going to the next player, Karthik who is playing Gregory Kaitano. And uh, yesterday he was white, he drew the game but... Today, if he manages to beat Kaidano, then he will be playing in the next round. Hikaru Nakamura. There we have Harsha Bharatkoti who played one of the most exciting games yesterday. There was all time. I hope you can hear me one second, guys. Just. Hello, hello. Yeah, all good. <laughs> Suddenly, I realized that. I did not check, did not do mic check and everything. But yesterday, Harsha played one of the most exciting games against Levan. He was under time pressure and he managed to beat Levan. A beautiful game. So if today he draws his game, then he will be meeting Magnus Carlsen. So that is going to be extremely exciting. Divya yesterday beat WIM Puteri. And she was white. The game was smooth flowing. So she just needs a draw today. Nandida uh, with Tiyanki Yan. It was a draw. The game got stuck. We could not see the full game. Marian Gomes actually with black. She was under complete trouble. But somehow she fought back. And there she beat her opponent with the black pieces. And the final game Priyanka Notekki uh, held Marina Brunello. Uh, so that is a good result because Marina is the higher seed. So today if Priyanka manages to beat her, then she will be facing Koneru Hampi. So that's there for you guys. I guess you guys got the, uh, all of you, those who missed yesterday. Now you got the update and what's up with the games? The games have not yet begun, is it? Round 1, game 2, 3 minutes ago. It shows but I don't see any board. So... For all of you guys, have the games begun? Is there a delay? That is a question. How are you all doing? How was yesterday for you all? And let me just open the chat because I have completely forgotten to check that out.
एम एन बी डब्ल्यू आज फन क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी पॉइंट इंडियन विल मेक टूडे आउट ऑफ नाइन येस दैट इज अ क्वेश्चन इज डिले अ पार्ट ऑफ एंटी चीटिंग मेजर्स जनरली डिले इज ऑलवेज अ पार्ट ऑफ एंटी चीटिंग दैट्स ट्रू वेरी ट्रू सेंडल नाथन से चार्ज वेंट ऑफ सो आई वॉज एंट एबल टू सी इट फुल अरे सेंडल नाथन uh you have to charge the batteries and also yourself <laughs> by watching chess i'm sure you'll get charged where is wishy wishy was at the inauguration guys do check out the video by the way we also have some video maybe i should try to show you that video let me check if you will be able to hear but shahid ahmed from chess biz india who is there at baku currently um he posted some starting moments of yesterday and hopefully today also we'll get some uh, video during the analysis so that will be great the games have started 5 minutes ago so we are waiting for it to happen here as well but until that time let me just check this out if it is working for you guys whether you can this was yesterday um just want to make sure if you will be able to your yep that's there okay let's let's try guys can you hear the video so this was shaparino yesterday you see you seeing um his opponent played really well is magnus going to play of course magnus is in this tournament directly qualified for round 2 there you see salem sale and do check out all the updates on chess biz india a lot of uh, nice videos ah you cannot hear the sound okay but anyway nobody is talking there is just background sound which will give you a very realistic feeling there uh this is elin rubbers she's got a wild card entry and there you go um is he the one from nepal maybe but here you have harsha and he is playing against levan pansulia this was the game yes i was talking about if today harsha is black and if today he beats or draws his opponent then he will be playing magnus carlsen so that will be very exciting but that's harsha for you guys and that's levan for you guys very very strong player so it's not going to be so easy to beat him with the black pieces and that's gregory kaidena versus karthik i mean karthik is white this game ended in a draw so that's the whole mahol over there as you can see the whole tournament hall wow oh it's so beautiful hello well coming back to the main screen guys i hope everything is fine the sound and everything just want to make sure because i have been talking since a long time so i hope you can hear me
Oh no, you can't. Ah, yeah. Okay, so what do you think? Also, one more question to you all. What uh, level of commentary you would generally like? Divya says the environment looks great. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> Refresh the page. Okay, so have the games begun. That would be awesome. Ah, yes. Thank you so much. Sendil Nathan. Thank you so much. Let's let's check the first game, seventy sixth, and now I have by hearted the board numbers there. So the first game will be S L Narayanan's. S L Narayanan is black. He only needs a draw. Yesterday he had a very very smooth game. So yeah, d4, his opponent starts with d4, maybe, maybe before I start, I also would like to put a poll over here, trying to ask you something which I have been uh, kind of wondering. Let me just do that. Yeah, so the poll is what level of Commentary would you prefer? Yes, that's the poll. Okay, so that's the poll there. Guys, I would love to uh, get your opinion. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. I, right now, okay, only 30 votes, but still... 60% advanced. 30. <laughs> okay. Very, very interesting. I think this will be interesting. By the end of the day, we will see, uh, you know, what the results will be. So that accordingly, um, accordingly, we will do that. Level of saga. <laughs> Which is that. GCL, it was uh, super beginner. Uh, some other tournaments, it was super advanced. So I think it has been... Uh, depending on a lot of things. But here we have D4, Knight, F6. Now, C4, E6. Are we going to go for Nimzo Indian? Knight, F3 played by Providence. And D5 by Narayanan. Most probably this will enter in Ragozin. But he takes, D takes C4. No Bishop B4 check yet. Bishop goes to G2. That's called as which Bishop? What is the name for this Bishop? What is what do we call this bishop which is developed on g2? Sendil Mohammad Sakar. Yes, that is a fianchetto of bishop. Uh, see map <laughs> you dragon bishop, uh, but this is called as a fianchetto of bishop and. It's very, very powerful. Maybe it's a good name to keep for your son, I guess. Fianchetto could be interesting. I don't know. But A6, A4, that stop. B5 here, it's Catalan. Knight C6 developed by Narayanan. You can see here, these two guys are attackers. And these two guys here are defenders. So, the D4 pawn is constantly under, you know, under review, <laughs> under observation. So castle by Providence and Narayan develops simply his bishop to e7 here. So he has got a comfortable opening with black, nothing where the opponent is, um, you know, extra prepared and can out prepare him. So this is, this is not a worry to us. The main thing we have to see today is we don't want any Indians to lose. That is the most important thing. Going to the next board for Indian, we are going to Abhimanyu Puranik's game. Now, Abhimanyu is white and yesterday he beat his opponent with black. So, he only needs a draw with white against Ibari. He opens the game with e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5. There we have Gaiko Piano. 
the typical typical trick uh, for all those who have been seeing the commentary for years and years bishop a4 knight f6 castle but if you are new then i do not expect uh, that you know this trick so knight f6 bishop e7 rook e1 b5 bishop goes back beautiful diagonal there d6 c3 but that bishop may not stay here for a long time castle by black abhimanyu goes h3 he stops bishop g4 ideal so that he can play d4 without the bishop on g4 and that nasty pin there bishop b5 is spanish not piano <laughs> Amruta block spammers please uh, guys please do not spam if you want to send one message just drop one message and if it is uh, really something which is important some nice information something interesting then it will be read out but uh, all the messages it will it won't be possible to read so but do not spam yeah let's focus on chess there yes Spanish Ray Lopez so yeah you guys of course alert the knight goes back to b8 what the hell it had just developed and what it what is it doing but this is a very very standard maneuver going back going to d7 putting your pawn to c5 so knight b8 and d4 by white knight bd7 bishop b7 so this is the standard opening moves which i will right now kind of rush through and you see this knight which had this long journey reached g3 oops aiming for f5 and h5 the g6 pawn says no not now your time is not now to come on these squares so b3 by abhimanyu bishop g7 and d5 so now that's a decision which abhimanyu takes closing the center forever keeping only one break available for ibara this one pawn break opening up the c5 but Abhimanyu has it all figured because he is next going to put his pawn on c4 whenever c6 comes and his center is going to be super strong. Okay, so this is Abhimanyu again very very comfortable no stress there in his game as well. Let's go to the next game that would be the beast and who is the beast? Yes, that is Adiban for us. He opens up with d4, d5, c4, e6, knight f3, c6. Now, Adiban's opponent is a strong player. Yesterday, in fact, Henderson had clearly better position against Adiban. Yet, he actually repeated thrice. Either it was because of some miss in the num calculation. Because if you repeat the uh, position thrice, it is a draw. Either he knew what he was doing or he didn't. I don't know that. <laughs> but definitely it was a good news for AD. So knight c3 and they are playing slowly. Adiban is thinking. In fact, why is Adiban uh, on 1 hour 19 minutes for this standard opening? Did he come late? No, he did not come late. So maybe, maybe he is not expecting what Henderson played. That could be a possibility. Out of all what he prepared, th that is a possibility. Roshandeep Singh says, what's your take on Hippo defense? No, I don't really like it. Uh, like, I really love it from white. So, that's my opinion. But, yeah, I mean, um, you can enjoy it from black. It just completely depends on your style. So, this is Adiban thinking, taking time or... Um, it could also be some, we will once again make sure that there is nothing wrong in the transmission. Going to the next one, by the way, in Adiban's game, if Adiban wins this game, then he is already to round two. But if he draws this game, then it will be a tie and tomorrow will be the tie breaks. So knight bd7 by his opponent. The next game which we are going to look at is, um, I guess... Harsha, no, Karthik went Katraman. Karthik today is black. Yesterday's game ended in drop. And there he has a standard setup in Rai Lopez. Beautiful bishop there. Eyeing here. In fact, with all the ideas of g5 and some craziness, I would be very, very interested to see what happens. Pragnananda has paid, uh, played this before. And um, 
of course it is a very typical idea to have your bishop here and then you would love to create such an attack with long castle but white may not simply allow that white right now white would have the ideas of b4 and a4 and b5 so this attack may not be very easy but i believe karthik would be in that mood to play aggressive chess against gregory kaidano because the next round would be with nakamura so you would you don't want to miss such a chance right now to complicate matters going to the last one of the open section for um, for us oh my god what opening is happening here in fact harisha is playing such interesting games knight of 3d5 c4 and he goes d4 right now why not you are getting space you are you are having a pawn in the center uh you have more space because of that pawn so why not and look at this levan plays b4 okay he wants to develop his bishop to b2 wants to attack the pawn on d4 but in doing so right now let's observe the b4 pawn is not defended harsha goes c5 are they prepared what is this opening he says yes you can capture this and i don't really mind it i'm going to simply develop my knight here you have a doubled pawn later on i will capture the c5 pawn but this d4 pawn is my strength so that's his idea with c5 getting all the more space uh, his opponent plays e3 and says i'm going to challenge your center harsha says yes you can let me develop e takes d4 c takes d4 so after c takes d4 a major uh, change has happened in the position can you observe what is the big change here mayur says uh, maybe it's reverse psychology like take some time in the opening opponent thinks you are out of prep and then give opponent shock of his her life ah uh, yeah mayur that is possible but only i think uh, generally can work in the in the tricky kind of uh, openings in a very standard opening may not may not be very ideal but um, hari says adiban with queen's gambit my favorite opening are kya baat hai brayer variation hmm samir says amrita pune chess club ahe ka samir atta nahi hai pan ami ata चार पांच सिटीज मध्य इट्स द टॉक्स आर गोइंग ऑन हार्दिक सेज आंसर टू द पोल क्वेश्चन वी वॉन्ट कॉमेंट्री विदाउट इंजिन ओ आई शुड मे वी आई हेड अनादर पोल टू मॉरो फॉर दैट बट आई बिकॉज आई बिलीव इफ आई रिमूव द इंजिन और आई यू सेंग कीप द बार एंड आई डोंट लुक एट द इंजिन दैट वुड बी योर सेम i don't look at the engine continuously though but let me know so bishop b2 here by levan he at, he is right now threatening to win this pawn the most important pawn obviously you don't want to lose that pawn so you are going to defend it now the question to you guys okay whether you will defend it by playing knight c6 or whether will you defend it by playing e5 or whether you will defend it by playing bishop g4 so these are the three candidate moves i am giving you let me know which one you will choose kapil says where are the multiple game bars yes we will be bringing them up today in fact much more improved version amazing work by rakshit so that would be good also i must check uh, if oh yeah we also have chat chess moves yay that is awesome that is working today so that's cool that means more questions today kya baat hai and guys whoever is watching do subscribe do not forget we have 1236499 subscribers right now so uh, 498 <laughs> while i was talking but our aim for this event is to 13 lakh that's by 24th august so do subscribe if you are watching and not subscribed abhay karnataki says uh, 
वन मोर कैंडिडेट मूव डी थ्री ओ अभय इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग यू यूज टू प्ले चेस एंड यू आर अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग प्लेयर आई गेस आर यू द सेम अभय सो डू कन्फर्म बिशप बिशप जी फोर डी थ्री डी थ्री ओके पीपल आर राइट लाइकिंग बिशप जी फोर बट नो बडी हैज सेड नाइट सी सिक्स एंड दैट इज समथिंग विच आई एम इम्प्रेस्ड विथ बिकॉज द प्रॉब्लम विथ नाइट सी सिक्स वॉज देर वॉज बी फाइव एंड देन यू जस्ट डिफ्लेक्ट द नाइट एज आई कीप से ये डिपेंडेंट हो गया तो बहुत रिस्की है Attachment sometimes can be dangerous. So, is के लिए this knight will have to move and you lose the pawn. Oh, that's cool. But not knight c six. Bishop g four. A nice move there for sure. You can go for it. Ah, uh, d three is a move which is suggested that by many of you who like it. But what is the problem with d three? Bam doesn't like it. And as you see. तुमको क्या अच्छा लगता है इससे मुझे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है बार को क्या अच्छा लगता है उसी से मुझे फर्क पड़ता है सो वाइज द बार नॉट लाइकिंग इट गाइज वाइट टू प्ले फाइंड मूव हार्दिक से ये लेट्स रिमूव द इंजन कीप द बार लेट्स ट्राई मूव टुगेदर मेक मिस्टेक्स टुगेदर एंड एनालाइज टुगेदर डन है हार्दिक लेट्स डू दैट टूडे अब ऐसे थैंक्स अमृता ग्लैड यू रिकॉल मी आई रिकॉल यू एन प्रथमेश टू अरे That is awesome, Abhay. Oh, you are. Everybody is in touch with chess uh, by some way or the other. All the people who used to play, you know, back back then, twenty twenty five years ago. So amazing. Sumit says, "So, do we have SL versus Kuzubo game today? Can you once explain the format of the match, please?" Yes, of course. I will. I did explain everything in the beginning, but I will get there again once I cover all the nine games. Mm. Oops. By the way, our poll right now says intermediate commentary forty eight percent, advanced thirty seven, but nobody wants beginner commentary. Okay, very interesting. ठीक है नाइट डी फोर क्वीन बी थ्री यस यस ऑल दो सेड क्वीन बी थ्री दैट्स करेक्ट क्वीन बी थ्री एंड गाइज ये इतना आगे बढ़ गया है कि अभी इसका कुछ नहीं हो सकता है सो so, इतने भी आगे मत बढ़ो जिंदगी में कि बस खत्म सो क्वीन बी थ्री एंड यू लूज द स्पॉन ओवर देर आई मीन यस यू कैन प्ले बिशप एफ फाइव देर बट Knight h4. The attack continues on your bishop. Where are you going to go? You might think, "Nay, bishop e4 is possible." But again, another tempo. The attack continues on the bishop. You might say, "Ki aare abhi to nahi mar raha hai." Yes, abhi to nahi mar raha hai. The bishop can go back here, but the problem is you can chop this off, and this weakness remains there. So that is the problem. But d3 as a move to calculate on the board looks so exciting. so you are going to consider such a move so right now that's the reason he's thinking you can see harsha is thinking now yesterday harsha had come down to you know 5 minutes 6 minutes and having to make around 25 moves um that was a whole lot of pressure but he managed that today he is thinking again we have to see whether he'll land up in time pressure or not because time pressure is going to be dangerous so bishop b2 has been played and let me tell you the best move here for black or let me ask you one more time one chance what is the best move one move which you guys have not uh, really said i guess let me also check the Oops. Yep. There we have chat chess moves today, which is working. And bishop g four, queen b three. Ah, maybe I'll clear all the moves. And but e five, arrow, sandal, sima, and yash. Well done, guys. So there you have e five is a move, which is which you might have thought 
oh knight takes e5 there and you are right knight e5 is happening no 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 you're not winning a piece by queen e7 or anything that sort of it because queen go comes to e2 and the pin is gone so that's not the reason the reason is simply capturing this b4 which we had observed that when white will play the move b4 um any disco can happen there because it was not defended so that's the thing so bishop e2 and harsha is thinking and let him think we will come back to this game later so we have covered all the games in the open section for our five indian players let's now go to the women's section and check out how is divya doing she is black today yesterday she won her game very very nicely and smoothly um aditi says yesterday ma uh, many evaluation bar was nice absolutely i'm going to add that once i cover the nine games what about the mixture of advanced and intermediate level commentary ha wo to wo to apan naturally karte hai that's what we do night bot says pawn pushing industries private limited at work <laughs> i like uh, that night bot is very very uh, you know gives a feel of a human but guys e4 c6 what is the name of this opening i'll give you options french sicilian and perk what is the name of this opening out of the three french sicilian and perk batao ab sai sai samrata taking over the stream not missing sagar are i am missing sagar <laughs> Okay, let me see what the answer is. Milap, uh, Yash, Vedang, Sankalp. These guys have fallen for my trap. <laughs> But all those who said Karo Khan, Sima, Piyali, Bhavana, Aditi, Harmani, Agniwa, Shreyas. क्या बात है? Guys, this is Karo Khan and Congrats! You guys have not fallen for the trap. So <laughs> I had given three options, which were all wrong. Never trust me. So e4, c6, Karo Khan defense by Divya, and d4 by Azar Puteri. D5, e takes d5. Now that is going to be exchange Karo Khan. Ye pawn itna hi exchange hua hai. To bhi will call it exchange Karo Khan. Baaki sab pieces hai. Funny, right? I mean, <laughs> okay. Bishop d3. Here, this bishop on the nice diagonal. Already, you see. You have to just observe. Whenever the opening stage is there, whenever you are learning a new opening, every single move. What could be the objective? What it is keeping an eye on? All these are just observations. But they kind of go into your mind, like when you are playing that opening. That the understanding about a piece. Just a family. होती है. As you know, कि यार मेरा भाई ये ऐसे करता ही है. For example. okay similarly you know that this bishop is going to be keeping pressure on this point so you are always careful about that yahan pe aaya knight f6 c3 uh common you want to defend this pawn here you have also made space on this diagonal for the queen to develop knight goes to c6 and most importantly you have stopped knight before because you really love that bishop you don't want to exchange that bishop so bishop f4 normally actually normally what happens is black keeps his queen on c7 stopping this bishop from coming to f4 but in this case divya is like yaar mere ko farak nahi padta hai oops bishop f4 if you want to play bishop f4 you play my queen has a lot more possibilities so it doesn't matter she goes bishop g4 develops her bishop attacks the queen and asks white that what are you going to do are you going to play queen b3 or are you going to keep your knight get your knight into the pin but azar puteri goes f3 now this pawn on f f3 f2 is very critical to um, safeguard the king on this diagonal there are these weaknesses whenever you push the pawn they happen so f3 is not one of the best idea but she may want to play something which is very aggressive and maybe knight e2 g4 h4 so if that is azar puteri's plan 
maybe because she would want to win this game bishop h5 goes divya knight e2 e6 queen b3 yes you are attacking this b7 but divya goes queen d7 defends the pawn knight d2 is white planning long castle now that is the question divya goes bishop g6 and she is very very happy that her c8 bishop imagine this bishop would be on c8 inside the pawn structure this light square pawn structure acha nahi lagta hai bahut bar it's there many times but you don't like it but theek hai chalta hai kya karenge we accept the situation but yahan pe divya is like no i am not going to accept the situation because my bad bishop can actually exchange with your good bishop and she is very happy to do that so bishop g6 long castle not possible right now and if bishop takes g6 h takes g6 will open the h file nicely uh, keeping pressure here let's not forget that black also against long castle in future black will also have the possibility of long castle so this is divya's position uh once again nothing to be uh, nothing to be under any kind of stress a uh, good opening comfortable opening so one draw in this game will take divya to the next round already mayuri says it's also mouse slip sicilian <laughs> yeah that's good aditi says i'll clip never trust me and send to sagar <laughs> no i think uh, the uh, yeah he is the only person i can say you can trust me ma'am that so many bar can get good review acha bar matlab kitna mind bar ki taraf ja raha hai guys wait let's understand the opening bar shouldn't make you like addicted okay so that is important like rakshit has made such a nice thing sare bar create kiye hai will get the whole uh what to say um round up in like seconds two seconds mein samajh jayega ki kya ho raha hai sare game mein but will not get addicted to that will also oops yeah we'll go to the next game by the way i maybe i missed one game of uh in the open section right i saw narayanan's game i saw abhimanyu's game then i saw adiban's game then we saw kartik's game no we have covered all the games by the way in harsha's game after bishop b2 harsha is still thinking he is right now down to 1 hour 6 minutes and that is already 15 minutes of difference from his opponent this is the vias game which we covered and now let's see um we let's see priyanka nutakki's game she is white today it has been e4 c5 now this is sicilian for all those guys who are saying for karo khan that sicilian no this is sicilian here yeah so e4 c5 knight c3 d6 and d4 oh this is very very different is there any name for it i don't know because when you go knight f3 and d4 it's open sicilian in fact when you have this knight c3 and then you go something like g3 bishop g2 that is all close sicilian kings indian attack it gets converted to but d4 over here so this is uh, c takes d4 queen takes d4 yeah there is a name for this i am i am very bad at remembering names in fact i'll forget the names of my relatives also but yeah there is a name for it queen d4 knight c6 queen goes to d2 and you will be asking oh my god how did he block this diagonal but yaar b3 aa raha hai don't you worry knight f6 there b3 e6 and important to observe is for this bishop which would have loved to be on b4 with a beautiful pin but ek hai do hai so you see that's the reason in such a scenario Uh, the whole idea works do not try at other times so easily it won't work e6 bishop b2 and d5 already now this is something which we say in sicilian ki if you get a successful d5 
you can already be you can already be equalizing against your opponent with the black pieces it seems like brunello is having 1 hour 31 minutes st is prepared but look at priyanka's time 1 hour 32 minutes next move we will understand whether priyanka is still prepared or not or not this is magnus game completely magnus sicilian magnus sicilian magnus sicilian okay naam magnus sicilian hai to bhai maza hi aa gaya kitne log bahut logon ko pata hai guys proud of you guys prashant says how to understand strategic factors which bar cannot explain yes i think that's the most important reason why uh, we are having this whole commentary because I completely agree with you. Bar evaluation, to ek rehta hai, but psychology is the other stuff. So we don't really have the bar for psychology yet. Okay, E takes D five, and look at this. Priyanka actually took some time to make this move. She thought around nine minutes. So one thing is clear that yes, she might actually know the whole opening and all, but she may not be prepared for D five move. and that's why she needed to calculate the other option is she might be recollecting that is something we will oops we will understand very soon e takes d5 e takes d5 guys one question to you all after e takes d5 what is now a major imbalance in this position can you let me know what is the major imbalance in the position Yes, yes, yes. Mayank, Harmony, Sendel. Well done. It is the IQP. It is the isolated pawn there, which you can see the D five pawn here. Uh, after takes takes. Yeah, tak dekho. This D five pawn had a supporter, had a friend, but after he takes D five, it's like akela ho gaya hai. No pawn on the adjacent files. means it's an isolated pawn so that is always a weakness an isolated pawn is always a weakness but in return that also gives a lot of peace activity to you so uh, that is what marina brunello is going to try with black priyanka just simply long castles and says 1 2 3 and you have only two pieces defending this pawn but look at your king which is completely in the center and exposed what marina says is don't worry bishop e6 there and i also in some way protect my king this um, she develops bishop to b5 pins the knight over here and this is the current position kind of going towards complication because um uh marino marina was prepared she had 1 hour 30 minutes at this point so after bishop b5 she has already used 20 minutes and she has gone into the thought now if you look at this position you do feel that white looks very very comfortable because the black king is in the center this is what the bar cannot say the bar says it's unclear by considering all the best possibilities but what the bar cannot feel that there can be stress now black that's the reason would love to pin this knight and quickly short castle that's understanding that's the understanding for us for this uh, game we will see what happens but let's go to the let's go to the what's the full form of iqp that is isolated queen's pawn isolated queen pawn so here the next game is uh, oops 
sorry for that mary and gomes yeah yesterday was interesting how she fought back but today she is white and she only needs a draw she's played ready in fact if you just try to for a moment i'll reverse it it does give a e4 c5 feel which is the reverse sicilian feel <laughs> but this is english opening so g6 bishop g2 bishop g7 a3 because white is going to take a b4 break uh, oh right now already but that's a pawn sacrifice there it's a very typical standard sacrifice you give a pawn takes takes knight b4 and in return you get very quick development a lot of pressure on this diagonal so this is a very very interesting idea to play if any of you are looking from white for opening ideas very very cool dynamic and exciting idea there uh, to give this pawn sacrifice but her opponent is prepared forecast yesterday we sh we saw some amazing prep from her so today also let's see what she has to bring on the table d5 she goes for c takes d5 knight takes d5 and marianne goes oh marianne is thinking this is the current position there which is there on the board so d5 did marianne got confused for d5 look at this mary had 1 hour 24 minutes and her opponent had 1 hour 22 minutes and after playing c takes d5 mary already used almost 15 minutes now yes that means she is uh, finding it on the board and that means four gas actually might be prepared even today so what an amazing preparation by four gas yanila who is from cuba and would be very interest interesting to know who her coach will be knight takes d5 okay so mary is thinking here because she has a few options either to exchange the knight um what else because this guy right now takes takes one and two a lot of pieces are attacking the b4 point the other question will come to you if b takes c5 but unfortunately this simplification here queen takes d1 king takes d1 and uh, it looks ugly these three pawns no they do not look good e4 is already coming quickly c3 is hanging so yeah you would not want to do that so mary is thinking and we will see what happens going to the final no penultimate game uh we have to see nandida's game nandida is black e4 was played by her opponent par mere bar ko kyun toda are rakshit wo uh, maine pehle hi set karke rakha tha to wo error aaya tha so now i have to enter everything so i'll do that after i find a very difficult question for the chat i'll do that <laughs> e4 d6 guys what is this opening now <laughs> d4 knight f6 is it sicilian is it caro khan or is it um, modern so that's a question for you sicilian caro khan or modern opening what is this opening knight c3 travel with nikhil roshan says hello everyone please hit the like button and help us uh, reach more audience yes guys do hit the like button that would be amazing uh, because we are that says we are supporting our indian players our 17 indian players who are in the world cup and sochona cricket world cup will you miss it no why should we not support our indian players at the chess world cup yes perg bhavana kashvi rakshit sandal bhavana uh same in my <laughs> none that is the right answer so yes that is perg defense i think sagar used to play it a lot and i did at some point tell him that you really need to think whether you want to play perg uh, or we or i might not marry you so yeah i think he must have started playing karo khan then <laughs> so e5 there is it going to convert in philidor knight f3 yes guys this is converted to philidor defense 
which happens from e4 e5 knight f3 and d6 that's the move order and d4 knight f6 so that is the move order there so it says show rupesh jaiswal game from nepal okay i will definitely show it to you so uh, knight bd7 bishop c4 bishop e7 you see this bishop comes on this diagonal f7 slightly under pressure um there is in fact yeah bishop c4 there is a tab takes takes no that's not working right now bishop e7 h3 castle bishop e3 by white and c6 by nandita the, she's playing against this chinese player tianqi yan and um, standard opening still it's a standard opening white will castle keep his queen on maybe e2 at the right time maybe try to take on e5 try to control d file but uh, nandita will also have a lot of ideas maybe something like b5 b4 as well so let's keep a watch on this and finally the last game which we have to cover for um or did i cover all the games did i miss anything i covered priyanka i covered mary i covered tianki yeah have i missed any game guys if i missed please let me know because um i wouldn't want to miss any of the game going back i think we have to, we must check harsha's game once because that was really uh, beautifully beautiful opening there and after bishop b2 harsha has been thinking so what did he finally choose he went he did he play e5 knight e5 and oh yeah this is what happened in the game he did play e5 in fact he did play a nice move there after thinking for a for quite a long time and after knight e5 here he played knight c6 now why has he not taken this pawn because bishop b4 oh maybe queen a4 check was the problem what something which he was worrying about because um because if you play knight c6 trying to support simply knight c6 is happening that just lost and that's the reason you had to be a little bit tactical there take one of your knight in fact uh, maybe even this knight take one of your knight to d7 so that if he captures your bishop then you can capture back his knight so that was the idea now one question to you all if knight takes d7 there then black to play find the best move black to play please add round number in the photo sure we'll tell abhi they have to do that Rakshit says Philidor से घटिया opening कोई नहीं <laughs> है ना है उससे भी Petrov रहेगा but Rakshit wouldn't you were you not playing Philidor at some point <laughs> okay so that's a tough question for you थोड़ा सोचो guys until that time let me just um, update the bars for you Rakshit, can you share that link again because it's not uh, refreshing? So I'll just click on the link once. Copy paste the link. Okay, this one was not easy. So let me just go to the chat chess moves there and see what our guys are answering okay that is covering a oh itna cover ho raha in fact okay flame tower is cover ho raha but 
चलेगा That's cool. ठीक है क्वीनी सेवन बाय द चैट डेर इज द फर्स्ट मू हू ऑल फाउंड इट सेंडल मेदांश आर्यन चेस राजेंद्र क्या बात है वेल डन नाइट ऑफ डी सेवन हैज बीन सजेस्टेड अदर मूव ऑल्सो पीपल हैव ट्राइड बट द बेस्ट मूव इज क्वीन ई सेवन एंड इट वॉज इंट वेरी इजी बिकॉज येस यू आर गिविंग अ चेक यू आर डिफेंडिंग युअर बिशप बट द क्वेश्चन वॉज नाइट ई फाइव चेक वॉट इफ नाइट ई फाइव चेक Uh, because it's a counter check there you cannot take the knight you don't have time for that but let's not forget that yahan pe pin hai and you can go bishop d7 attack the queen queen cannot take this bishop here so that's the reason in fact you will lose your piece and ulta hi aa gaya tum pe so that was the that was the nice way to defend there for queen a4 check uh your Harsha goes knight c6 right now. Yes, he has attacked the b4 pawn and this and this knight here. And if knight will take the knight, b takes pawn, b takes knight. This pawn still will remain attacked there, and white can save it with a3. So this game for sure is going to be very very exciting game. Okay, Harsha needs a draw in order to face Magnus Carlsen. Let's go to the um to S L Narayanan's game once, and we'll also see. Nights are tricky. Hi, can you check if S L versus Kuzubo match starts today? No, it doesn't start. So, Mr. Uh, that is um later in one round. Basically, for one round, there are two games, two classical games. So, let me just show you the format once. so this is how it is each match consists of two classical games 90 minutes for the first 40 moves 30 minutes at the end of the game with a 30 second increment and if it is tied then tomorrow so whichever games today will end as one all tomorrow there will be a play off and it will have 25 plus 10 two games to begin with so that's how it's going to be and if you even see um, sl's pairing so after providence if he beats this guy then next he will be playing with tisir or kuzubo either winner of either of them and if he beats them then he'll play gukesh <laughs> so that's how it's going to be let's come back to our main screen instead of a3 can we play c5 fixing the weakness um yeah i think you're talking about harsha's game actually it is a good question because c5 looks definitely like a natural move there um you have promoted your pawn plus blocked this defense plus vacated a square for your bishop to develop so definitely a nice question there and only problem is that black is already waiting to strike at the b4 pawn with a5 so a5 looks quite strong um computer also loves the move rook b8 trying to attack and there is a pin there on b2 so even a5 remains the threat so that's why with a3 right now a5 anyway you will try to challenge because white would hate to take this pawn and uh, spoil his structure so this is where we might uh, land up into where um, there is no way to defend this pawn like you might ah maybe queen a4 is an interesting interesting move to consider because you are attacking c6 so that though actually a lot of calculation is in the air because mainly because a lot of pawns look loose the look like is pe attack aayega ye mar raha hai kya ye nahi mar raha hai kya this is weak so all of this is going to lead psychologically for them they need to calculate we might here get to know immediately ki for this move are this is the answer but for them if they miss some move then it's going to be losing material immediately and that's the reason the time will be consumed quite a lot you see it's seventh move only and 56 minutes for harsha 
वन आवर थर्टीन मिनट्स फॉर लेवन दैट्स वॉट वी आर लुकिंग एट सो वेरी वेरी की गेम दिस इज गोइंग टू बी टूडे ट्रैवल विथ निखिल रोशन से इज वाओ आई एम रियली लाइकिंग दीज न्यू फॉर्मैट्स ऑफ प्रेजेंटिंग थिंग्स अभी दे आर ओपी फॉर दैट फॉर श्योर हिज डन सम अमेजिंग वर्क देयर एंड ऑल्सो दिस टूर्नामेंट हैज वेरी स्पेसिफिक थिंग्स लाइक ओनली सेवनटीन इंडियंस वी नो एवरी थिंग वेरी स्पेसिफिकली सो यर ऑल्सो यू कैन सी ऑन द ओवर लाइव वी हैव ऑल देयर फोटोज एंड एवरी थिंग सो दैट यू गाइज एक्चुअली गेट टू नो हु ऑल आर प्लेइंग so yeah it's kind of a tough format for sure yes aryan there will be a club there is it's always going on there was a tournament last saturday as well rakshit says i like white's position i don't care what the bar says i you like white's position i'm not sure because uh, of one reason that if black recovers the pawn which he can and if uh, if this d4 pawn everything i believe here in this game depends on the d4 pawn that's that is something either a big strength or a weakness the whole thing is going to revolve around him because he as you see right now it's stopping the development for this knight it's blocking the diagonal of this bishop so jab tak wo hai it's going to be annoying for white but once it starts becoming weak it's ka old age ho jayega tab bol nahi sakte kya hai so that's how it is Okay, so guys, hit that like button for sure, and let me also tell you, we have twelve lakh thirty six thousand five twenty subscribers right now. Yeah, uh, five no five twenty three. It got updated, but our aim until twenty fourth August is twelve thirteen lakh. So yes, do subscribe there. Okay, <laughs> shall we also? I think uh, let's check one game which uh, was requested. Um, I think he's from Nepal. I don't know the board number, but if anybody knows the board number, I think who had request somebody had requested. So please let me know the board number. I'll have a quick look at it. If you are there in the chat, then do do let me know the board number. Where is Sagar? Sagar is at Baku. Draw is it? Hi, and all also on the overlay, you can see all those who have one point. Okay. let's say sl narayanan you see one in that round you see uh, abhimanyu with one harsha with one divya with one and mary with one so all those with one point already if they draw today they are through to the second round but all those who have half a point if they draw today then they go to the tie breaks and all those who have half a point if they lose today then they are out it's a knockout format guys very important to keep in mind it's a knockout format so uh, we will okay which game do you want to see and what is the current poll uh, result intermediate 47 that's the current poll result good to know which game do you want to see now adiban 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 okay let's see adiban's game and i am also bringing the bars here for you guys
so let's see how it will be seen today yeah i'll add more but right now we have three let me add another one 75 yeah there we have and 76 guys what you are seeing right now the bar is on the right that's the developed by rakshit and we will get the evaluation of everyone at one in one go so that would be cool when will hikaru play in fact this karthik's game right now if karthik beats his opponent then karthik will be playing with hikaru in the round 2 so yes rakshit op for sure let's add now we have added five games now i think i need to add a add women's games as well let's do that divya's game okay divya is also better wow there we have mary's evaluation and now let's have the final two evaluations priyanka there okay i think i have to check the board number once 30 34 34 35 36 okay so 34 is left Woo, cool look at this isn't that amazing oh rakshit what a piece of art this is so let me just in fact let me keep it like this because these are the nine players who are playing wow fits well दिखने को भी बढ़िया है नहीं लास्ट वाला आई थिंक आई हैव टू से फेच इवैल्यूएशन हां नाउ इट्स डन सो गाइस देयर वी हैव द राउंड अप ऑलरेडी यू कैन सी नारायणन इज ब्लैक एंड इट सेस 3.1 दैट मींस ही इज विनिंग देन यू कैन सी इबारा पुराणिक वर्सेस इबारा पुराणिक हैज 1.1 एडवांटेज uh yes i like the new design we should also ask the chat actually what they think of it and puranik is also having a great advantage so he is also winning that means as of now based on the current evaluation narayanan will go to the round 2 abhimanyu will also go to the round 2 mm. then adiban maybe for pur instead of but don't change right now but later we can have instead of puranik we can have his first name abhimanyu adiban is playing with henderson and that shows one is he having that big advantage wow let's look at that karthik is having 0.4 advantage slight advantage but that's a very good news uh, because he is in contention to play with hikaru nakamura then harsha versus pansulia as as we see very very complicated game going on divya also has a slight edge uh, mary has this slight mary has to be a little careful there priyanka has a great advantage and nandida is unclear so as of now we are not in big trouble on any board let's just quickly have a look at all those games first which have huge advantage okay let's look at them but amazing work rakshit singh ek final time rakshit op which board team are you using ask prashant that is leeches pretty leeches uh, something <laughs> okay so your sl narayanan is says minus 3.1 that big of an advantage and why do you think is this big advantage guys that is the question 
मैं कुछ नहीं बोल रही हूँ आप ही बताओ वाई इज एस एल हैविंग दिस बिग एडवांटेज वेरी क्विकली वी विल मूव फ्रॉम वन गेम टू अनदर ऑल दो गेम्स हु हैव बिग एडवांटेज लेट्स जस्ट कवर देम फर्स्ट these are the bars by rakshit but i hope all chess biz india viewers you don't get addicted to that evaluation there <laughs> king opened f4 weakness How about knight f and then knight c four for black? But knight is on a five. Yes, a four weakness. Rakshi says today we have more bars in less space. <laughs> is SL the most underrated GM in India? I I definitely I can agree with you. So I think you will have to tell me the board number uh, of your friend Rupesh. F four weakness, F four weakness. Okay, so number one is when you are observing that uh, nobody, very surprisingly, nobody has mentioned this one thing. Why? Why you observe the imbalance? You have to also observe the material. Isn't black a pawn up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And for white, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven versus eight. So firstly, black is a pawn up. That's important. Secondly, all those who have mentioned F four is a weakness. Uh, yes, definitely F four does look weak. Though right now you cannot immediately attack it. But most important is this pawn, which you are a pawn up for now, and which is giving you a beautiful outpost, which you know keeps D four under pressure. So also with knight on B three, you stop rook C one. So all these are the reasons currently. Which are there, and the king side is weak. Yes, that also. So because of this, Estel Narayan has huge advantage. It's black to play right now, and knight b three is already incoming, which attacks the rook. Uh, rook on a two looks ugly. So rook b one, you might want to play. So now, guys, bishop a three, and you can be okay with giving up this bishop and being able to stay a pawn up. Beautiful pawn up, opening the file. So that's the reason SL is winning. Going to the next game, according to the bar, yeah, this is Puranik's game. Puranik has a huge advantage as we were looking at. He got d5. He also got c4. So he has got a very good center, and this center gives him one important imbalance. What is the most important imbalance which he is getting? Abhimanyu Puranik, what is his biggest advantage? Who can tell me the imbalance? Board number four. Okay, I will check that. So it you have to write only once, not the same thing again and again. Okay, I will check. Bad bishop versus good bishop. No bad. Ye bad hai because of the center. So ye bhi bad hai because of the center. Guys, I hope you all know what is a bad bishop and what is a good bishop. That depends on the central pawn. So, if you look at the center right now, you will see the two pawns which are on the light squares, and you will see the center is blocked. It's not flexible. That exchanges can happen. Tension hai, kuch nahi hai. No tension in the center. It is all blocked, and these pawns are fixed on the light squares because of which the mobility of the light square bishop is, uh, you know, kind of very less. and that is with the reason we call it a bad bishop but remember bad bishop doesn't mean that it's a useless bishop useless bishop alag hota hai <laughs> we will come to that okay uh, what a useless bishop is uh, but here this bishop is doing things it is protecting c4 it's keeping some eye on the b5 so not letting a5 or c5 easily so it's doing something but it it is not a very active bishop similarly this is a bad bishop for black because he has the uh, pawns on the light square and all those who have found that imbalance well done well done that is space nirmala rakshit anukul keshav pushkar ritiban uh, almost there yes because you see the pawns in the center if this is the 
main center white is having these two pawns already advanced that is giving him more space aur iske liye tumhari aankhe bas hai dikh raha hai na more space it's like 2 bhk aur 3 bhk mein which one will have more space it's that obvious so that is one advantage what does space help you to do space helps you to maneuver your pieces more easily that is the main advantage but black is all ready here to you know to uh, open up the position at the right time but white is being very careful about that and he has good advantage especially because of this particular space so going to the next uh, bar kiska advantage maximum bol raha hai right now priyanka's game let's go to priyanka's game because she has quite a big advantage her advantage is oh okay ye nandida ye bhi nandida so here i have to go to priyanka's game yes priyank oh look at this the same game which we were talking about where her opponent took d5 break went for is isolated pawn who is in fact a higher rated opponent bishop e6 bishop b5 was played and this is where we were talking about ki bar is unclear but what you feel is that king in the center queen went to a5 there first thing firstly what computer suggests is to black should have gone for a6 uh, putting a question on this bishop ki tere ko karna kya hai obviously you don't want to go bishop a for all those who are alert black to play very quickly black to play and win what is the move travel with nikhil roshan says thanks guys for 212 likes please keep the likes coming yes thank you so much do like the stream and do think of becoming a member because all the membership amounts on help chess organization and on youtube goes to the upcoming indian talents who are in needs of fund who are in need of funds yes chess script sandal natan mayank mishra vivek uh, mithis vandana vivek yes absolutely right b5 simply traps the bishop here at the edge of the board so a6 was definitely uh, an important move forcing to take here this is how it should have continued what she played was queen a5 still a decent move there white went knight g e2 developed the knight protected this guy here on c3 against the threat of bishop b4 uh, she played bishop b4 and priyanka went queen g5 so i guess the advantage maybe is, uh, your engine could be a little different i guess uh, rakshit isn't it Rakshit says after you cover each game, maybe you can open that window so it gets updated on OBS as well. But Rakshit, ah, uh, uh, look at this. Once I try to go to that window again just to click it, it says error. Now why does this happen? Can you uh, do you know that? Okay, for now I am disappearing the bars, but let me know. Uh, Queen G five by Priyanka. all already you see the threat is queen g7 is incoming plus the queen has removed herself from the pin freed the knight still you cannot take here immediately because one and two guys are there defending uh, or maybe with some sacrifice anything could be possible as well plus uh, this knight is defended well the rook is planning to come to e1 i like white's position i definitely see how black king is struggling ki kya kare kidhar jao castle karu short castle long castle but what do i do i cannot keep the king in such a center so this seems a great position for priyanka and mind you marina is a higher seed so if priyanka beats marina that's going to be an upset and priyanka will face humpy in round 2 so we will come here again by the way um we had to check one game uh, i guess board number 4 right let's see board number no that's not board number ah uh, wait here board number 4 so that was rupesh jaiswal from nepal who is playing from our neighboring country so rupesh is black and he's playing against gadir gusenov a strong player from azerbaijan 
uh he was in olympia team as well i guess 2661 that's a huge rating so it's meroxibine rupesh and um like the meroxibine slight advantage for white because this light square bishop is exchanged you can see which is generally a little bit of a weak piece there but that's not white is not having that piece anymore it's exchanged against the uh, bishop both the bishops so that is currently the reason that white has this slight edge and you're the majority so it's a meroxibind if black gets a successful d5 break after a lot of preparation he can equalize uh, but if he cannot then we will see so that's about rupesh uh, sohit who was here uh, watching from nepal wanted to know so yeah we will keep a bit of watch there coming back to this game harsha's game knight c6 b takes c6 and a3 has happened so will harsha play a5 in this move he's come down to 48 minutes how long did he take for the previous move um he had 56 minutes and i am wondering ah no he did not take much time he just captured it immediately that's a good thing and already he has thought for 9 minutes so we should be able to see this move very very soon okay let's go to the next game guys which game should we see now yes sadikul if you let me know the board numbers in between um we can go we can get some glimpse of it what does the error say if you can send me a screenshot okay got it yes there you have sagar's game are sagar thodi khel raha hai <laughs> adiban's game harika is playing she is directly qualified to round 2 so let's do a round up okay let's do a quick round up sl narayanan's game sl is black and right now what he played was after night actually he did play knight b3 rook b1 and he first went for b5 with the same idea because for a takes b5 he is ready to capture this knight so good move by sl sl is uh, winning in this maybe we can say almost winning in this game okay uh, almost a winning advantage for this game for sl going to the next game abhimanyu is white and because of the space advantage he is clearly better uh now he's got his rook on the open file on the file which is going to be open in the future right now it's not open but rook on c1 uh nice move there cd5 then cd5 already some exchanges will happen on this file so this is his position there he will develop his queen sooner or later maybe to e2 uh and maybe he'll have to do some planning it's a closed position a lot of strategy will be involved it will all depend on what black is also going to do but in general abhishek is having a good amount of advantage and he only requires the draw like that's the whole thing so nothing so he is also looking as of now going towards round 2 going to the next game of adiban yes let's look at adiban's game we have, we were not able to look at it after e3 ha ah, yeah they played some standard opening bishop d3 and your adiban took a central break very quickly he played e4 here and his threat is a pawn four uh with e5 black took the pawn d takes e4 knight takes e4 and these exchanges have happened castle castle and c5 uh henderson challenges the center already adiban says okay not a problem i'm just simply bringing my rook on the open file um as we know file open ho gayi so that's what we try c takes d4 and adiban here is thinking whether to take with the knight or queen he decides to take with the queen 
why guys do you think adiban did not take with the knight what was the reason he captured the pawn with the queen अच्छा ओह यार आई डिड क्लोज ओह दैट्स कूल दैट इज दैट यूज्ड टू बी द एरर आई यूज्ड टू गेट नॉर्मली आई नेवर सॉ दैट क्लोज साइन वो इतना कोपरे में है because we should play attacking moves in order to connect rooks and develop the queen come on guys the right reason badhiya sa reason do we always have reasons for many things we do we give ourselves reasons most of the time the deeper reason is always different okay not about philosophy though but yes knight g5 knight g5 so exactly the whole point is that this knight has great potential because you see there is right now no knight and h7 looks like a little bit of uh, you know uh, weakness there so with the bishop knight and all these pieces coming together in fact the rook is on e1 which at some point could even mujhko bhi to lift kara de all these ideas exist on the board and ardiban is a beast so that's the reason it's a great decision if he would have captured with the knight you see the knight actually has no knight can go to b5 but the bishop stays fine also a6 at some point will just kick it away so queen d4 a nice move there by adiban and it's an interesting game very adiban like position we will have to see if henderson henderson who has been playing really well he's not going to let it very easy for adiban so let's see knight f6 seems uh, natural here because you want to just keep this h7 guys safe so that's adiban's game it's unclear oh he goes bishop c5 he goes bishop c5 not knight f6 right now he is threatening knight f6 next and adiban has to decide where to take the queen important question where to take the guys just let me know where sh where would you take the queen so that later when we come back we'll compare uh, with adiban's decision got it board numbers are 29 and 35 Oops, maybe I have to clear the moves. Okay, I think only two choices by you guys. One is queen d three, and one is queen c three. And um, yes, queen c three definitely good. But queen d three has a big problem. Black to play. There you go. Chat chess moves is working. I want a lot of you to answer. Two fifty people here. At least fifty. Let's try black to play. Not a very difficult move. Okay, let's see 
what the chat is answering right now are 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 <laughs> wait i did clear but okay maybe some issue i don't know i think i should message keith oh why is on uh, acha oh maybe guys you can see the um, on the right you can see lot of changes i mean you can see the uh players are changing there very nice i think abida is doing that i believe that because i am not changing that so <laughs> that's cool that's cool are thanks abida they i think the chat will also get to know a little bit when they look there but guys did you observe that something is changing and i was like wondering kya ho raha hai yahan pe okay yes f5 right move traps the bishop so with queen d3 you block the uh space and this bishop has nowhere to go so that's the reason you still have to be alert for tactics and a good move will be queen c3 that would be a better idea yes queen d2 is also possible both are um, good moves but with queen d2 knight f6 is coming so you might mm, yeah you will not go into the queen exchange but i still like queen on c3 better uh, to keep this bishop open so uh, so adiban is having 44 minutes and this is kind of an unclear position uh, with slight slight edge for adiban because it feels that uh, the space and the attacking possibilities are better and it feels just more comfortable which again the engine doesn't understand the comfort here <laughs> so that's for white going to the next game kartik who is in contention for oh my god craziness is happening here because he wants to play with hikaru and hikaru plays crazy chess so kartik also decides to go crazy g5 bishop goes to g3 kartik takes back his knight to d7 and gregory says come on your king is in the center and I, all i know is when your king is in the center break open the center so he goes d4 but kartik is like yes you might get a center break but nothing more than that it's only going to be semi open if at all you capture here but not more than that he starts attacking he goes g4 over here um maybe first h4 could be more interesting because later you will have g4 anyway but g4 here knight goes to h4 and now the point is this is the reason h4 was important earlier it blocks the pawn you know there is this bind there against the two pawns but knight h4 he goes knight f6 now brings his piece there opens the bishop here threatens to attack this win the pawn white plays bishop d5 bringing the bishop in the center completely not caring about gh3 what's in his mind g takes h3 kartik wins the pawn knight c4 gregory says no i don't really still care my king is safe he goes knight c4 oh my god what is happening in this game kartik brings his rook to g8 and there could be a pin there but just in general once again looks like so exciting for black mind you this is defended but right now what is white having in on his mind how is he planning to uh bring his resources so his idea of the last move knight c4 what was that guys why to play in such a position when your opponent is coming at you with full force to attack how are you going to try and escape can you tell me a very uh, a very good move for white here okay he goes queen f3 gregory goes queen f3 but all of you who like the difficult questions maybe could try white to play also remember this is not really going to be a threat because you would never want to get open such a thing now bishop c6 many of you want to capture 
b takes c6 and you want to get rid of this knight here maybe later you want to play queen f3 or something it's a possibility but a good move if you look at what white was actually doing here and he went knight c4 so a good idea would be to find a nice square for the knights so knight f5 would be a nice idea there knight e3 and also it protects g2 so knight e3 was a very good move which white had um, it wasn't easy at all queen f3 looks so natural that you are developing the queen and you are also helping the knight to come to f5 so queen f3 and karthik is thinking karthik how can you continue the attack what move comes to your mind black to player how do you continue with your attack with your development what possibilities come to your mind this is exactly the kind of position which is a little crazy and if you are given a lot of time you might just keep thinking thinking and you know you can get lost in time rakshit deepak vivek cosmic ujwal Sima, yes, all of you want to play this most natural move, developing the bishop, attacking the queen, and asking what is he going to do. And uh, yes, that definitely looks like a good move. And when you have the simple moves which are good move, why not to play that? So yes, bishop g four. This game is almost going towards a bloodbath. Anything can happen. it's interesting from both the sides though you have won the pawn it's not so easy because you are still not developed your rook is not in the game your bishop currently is blocked by this pawn uh, mind you you might think eh, never you might not be able to think of this idea ever how much ever you are winning the pawn because it's going to simply blast open the position in number of ways first takes and then e5 and Ah, it's gonna get very very ugly. So don't even think about that. So that is one of the reason why even if black has won a pawn, the compensation is in the form of for white is in the form of development, the isolated pawn, the knight jumping to f five, and um, the king is still in the center. Okay, so that's about Karthik Venkatraman here going to uh, another. very slow but very interesting game here harsha did not play h5 he plays c5 uh, well a5 was definitely a stronger break but he went c5 bishop went to e2 and he develops his bishop to d6 definitely h2 does without the knight on f3 as we are seeing again and again these spots h2 g2 you know those are the things which have to be taken care of in short castle so that is all happening here uh, still even if white looks slightly better it still looks a little uncomfortable without the development and with less space there plus something on the lines of h2 so let's let's see i am pretty hopeful there because harsha likes to complicate matters as we have seen yesterday the next game divya year has been um we saw till we saw till uh, yeah bishop g6 and her opponent played bishop her opponent sorry did not take her opponent played bishop e5 bishop got exchanged her opponent took a break with c4 divya said i am simply castling what is your plan there so her opponent is not castling and finally divya gets a break in the center because the king is in the center bishop takes c6 b takes c6 and now she castles but this is just clearly better for divya because she can just play e4 get a protected pass pawn she has a bishop against the knight um a very nice position there rook is coming to b8 on this open file so divya having a very comfortable position going to this game because i think it was very very interesting priyanka versus marina brunello we saw at queen g5 black looked very very what to say shaky so she castles over here long castles at least it feels a bit safe and priyanka chops this knight bishop takes c6 b takes c6 weakens the king even further there and now she plays f3 look at this move such a cool and calm move first trying to take away the squares of this knight on f6 and everything she has safeguarded 
um lot of ideas are upcoming we will see rook at g8 and a nice move once again by priyanka white to play guys can you find the next move which priyanka found on the board which was not an easy move at all the idea is not so difficult but let's see white to play can you find the next move Thank you, Abhidaya, for that slide show. There, it was a lot of fun. All those who have said ninety four, I am proud of you. And many, many of you guys, कर क्या रहे हो? छः बजकर दस मिनट हो गए. It's evening time. It's time to be the most active right now. Ninety four is a super blunder because this guy was dependent. इस पे dependent था. उसको ऐसे ही छोड़ दिया अकेले. ऐसे मत करो. So that is the reason. But what I am also proud of you is blunder हुई. In terms of uh, direct, uh, the yeah, but indirectly, idea was good. Idea, बराबर है. You want to play knight d4. The knight on d4 looks so good. I have no doubts about it, and that's the reason Priyanka went knight a4 first. इसका dependency निकाल दिया. He became self-made knight here, and now this knight is threatening to jump to d4 here. Okay, so knight a4. H6 played by Marina Brunello. The queen is attacked. The queen can simply quite tempting square is in fact queen on f4 on this diagonal, queen on h4 keeping an eye on this bishop. So this is very very uh, comfortable. Vivek says, "Wow, badiya layout hai." Yes, thanks to Abhidaya Op and those bars which you can see right now. Thanks to Rakshit Op. Because we get a roundup in one go. By the way, the live subs is stuck. Let me just click there once, and there you have it back. We have twelve lakh thirty six thousand five hundred and thirty nine subscribers, and our goal is twelve lakh thirteen lakh subscribers. Not today, of course, but that's the goal. So do subscribe there. Okay, I think we had to have also a glimpse of um. This Narayan's game is going on. Let's after this game, let's have the glimpse of uh, a few of players from our neighboring countries. This is Narayan's game. He did play b five, and later he is now successful pawn up here. This was that one pawn. He was a pawn up, but there was a double pawn, and now all of it is gone. He's simply one pawn up there. Ah, uh, three against two plus. A nice knight there right now. He can exchange if he wants. Plus this pawn is weak. Um, plus there is double bishop for now. So Narayanan is clearly better. We had a, we had our friends who were requesting to check out Inamal Hussain's game. He's from Bangladesh, a very strong player. This is the position he's playing against Dimitri Collars, and Inamal is white. He's having this very slight advantage. Um, For what reason is this very slight initiative there with white? What do you think? That's what the computer says. I am just looking at the position and firstly trying to understand. I am not yet in agreement with uh, the computer, but let's try to understand. Such are the positions which help the understanding quite a lot. If you are able to, uh, you know, why this little initiative is there with white. in spite of actually having black having a double bishop okay i think i've got the reason why have you guys got the reason why yes have you guys got the reason why white would have if anybody then white is the one who has this very slight initiative that's a question for you guys a difficult one Sri Jan says slightly more act 
active pieces that's his question c2 is a weakness yes i agree c2 is a weakness weak c5 pawn okay that's also a good point there very well protected though that c pawn is very well protected blacks black colored bishop is bad i wouldn't call it bad as such uh, right now based on the center but i'll definitely call it little bit being dominated by the knight yes but very very good guys it coming up with new and different reasons um i believe this position will have the very slight initiative in white's favor number one is that all of you <laughs> who have yeah that's where prudvi finally says extra pawn firstly it's an extra pawn firstly material ko to dekho when you have given a new position count the material simple chess, simple chess <laughs> jaise when i used to play in my childhood if my mom comes around and sees the game the only thing she'll do is to count the material <laughs> that material mein ab alag hai to pata chal jayega if material is equal then she'll say ki kiske pieces aage hai so utna to aayega apne ko okay so here firstly extra pawn in that respect black has a compensation you can see it's not like if an extra pawn and you are just clearly better black has compensation but the another thing is that whites yes black has this double bishop that's the composition but the knights here are pretty decent they're not bad and they could try to come to better squares it's not going to be so easy to kick them away because a lot of weaknesses on the open file will be made so that's the uh, that's the conclusion for this uh, for this board here and uh, oh by the way mohammad fahad rahman who is a very young talent from bangladesh um he is yeah he is uh, he's white and he's also better against oh vokaturo daniel now he's a very very strong player from italy okay so he is uh, he if he beats vokaturo that is brilliant man so our neighboring countries are also doing well I don't know what happened to this first round, but this is the current situation. So, um, all of you who are watching from Bangladesh right now, you are at a good place. That's what I can tell you. Let's go to S L Narayanan's game. He S L Narayanan is currently clearly better. So here, I think we are very clear. Moving to the next game, Abhimanyu Puranik is white, and finally, some exchanges, pawn exchanges have happened. This is the position we have on the board. a beautiful bishop there you can observe f7 as we knight will jump to g5 at some point of time and uh, let me ask you guys uh, in black's position can you tell me two weaknesses for now in black's position two weaknesses travel with nikhil roshan reminds everybody 300 likes kar dena please dosto yes guys do like the stream so that all more indians get to know and we can get more support for our indian players sadi kul says both of the bangladeshis have lost their first game with black so both are white today so both are in a must win situation okay got it f7 and d6 f7 and d6 yes d6 for sure as we call this pawn what do we call this pawn it's a which pawn is it all those who have read silman will definitely know it Yes, backward pawn. अरे आइसोलेटेड नहीं सुमा सीमा है ना उसका भाई है ना इधर बड़ा भाई है सो इट्स नॉट आइसोलेटेड पॉन इट्स अ बैकवर्ड पॉन यू आर राइट वॉट इज अ बैकवर्ड पॉन इट्स अ पॉन ऑन एन ओपन फाइल विच यू नो विच डजेंट हैव एनी एडजस्टेंट पॉन्स ऑन द साइड एंड दैट्स द बैकवर्ड पॉन बेसिकली इट इज द सपोर्टर ऑफ अदर पॉन्स तो दैट्स वाई इट्स वीक इट्स वीक generally 
because it's on the open file so d6 is definitely weak a6 is also weak here as you can see so these two definitely weaknesses but a6 pawn will have to be pushed at later point to a5 yet it will remain weak it's an isolated pawn so these are the two weaknesses and f7 yeah temper it's definitely the base of the pawn chain and weak but majorly these two are the weaknesses there okay let's go to uh, the next game abhibandhu has slight edge there and time is also in control going to adiban's game he after bishop c5 he went queen d2 he liked queen d2 more like some of the people in the chat black played knight f6 and he said okay bishop c2 he's okay with queen exchange okay that was interesting but henderson very very alert he plays b6 and he says no i don't need to exchange a queen and allow you to develop so he plays b6 with the idea of getting this bishop on this beautiful diagonal and now adiban moves his queen to e2 but now what is his plan for bishop b7 a simple development maybe adiban wants to develop the bishop here pin the knight and by pinning increase more pressure on h7 is that his plan but the position is extremely unclear because both of them are having very very good pieces piece activity so adiban's game unclear going to karthik's game which is another bloodbath happening there bishop g4 happened in the game and his opponent kaida now played queen d3 here you can see the bar suddenly very happy after queen d3 why because there was an intermediate move which was necessary which was this check bishop takes b takes c6 and then queen d3 was important but what difference does it make or did it make after queen d3 the next move karthik finds black to play please do not check the game black to play find this move and it's advanced it's a little bit advanced i would say but uh, all those who are on intermediate level will also get to learn from it chalo black to play not a simple blunder type question which you guys always get the answer guys you cannot think of ideas like oh knight d5 cd5 and opening you might think long castle but no there is this hanging so that's not possible but a good move abhinav yes abhibhav yes that's the right move there uh yeah, bishop d7 and this is what gregory kaidano underestimated i'm sure he did not miss this but he underestimated this because c6 is now defended and how does it make a huge difference in the position if you firstly take here i can take with the bishop now you might think that you are winning a pawn here by d takes e5 because if i take d takes e5 i lose a pawn okay uh i lose a pawn but i i'll still i can still play d takes e5 if you play knight takes e5 then black to play this is so crazy this is so 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 crazy uh that even i cannot find it even i cannot understand it for a moment okay i do understand it now it took a bit of time but guys black to play find the best move maza aa jayega you guys will enjoy
Rian says impossible to find with work on. <laughs> yeah, that I agree. This is definitely not a move for multitaskers. So uh, continue with your work. Bas dekh lo jab answer aega. Okay, I've got two moves from all of you. Uh, it was a difficult question. I completely agree with you. Most of you have suggested this move, Rook G3. What I really appreciate about you guys is, bhule nahi ho ki wo bishop wahan pe hai. That bishop is there. It's like a bishop which is on the college ka katta. Like college ja nahi raha andar. But wo hai, katte pe baitha hai. Maybe wrong analogy. <laughs> Because he's sitting on the ground, but he's studying so much. So it's a so that doesn't match, right? If you're sitting on a college katta and then you're studying, that wouldn't match. So yeah. Um, but I like that you saw that because honestly, I had forgotten about that. Uh, Queen G three is happening, but the right move did anybody find? एक तो ईडी फोर वगैरह तो बोलो ही मत सेंडल नाथन हैज फाउंड इट शिरीश हैज फाउंड इट क्या बात है क्या बात है बिशप ई फोर नाउ दिस इज द मूव विच यू कैन नेवर एक्सपेक्ट बिकॉज वाई बिकॉज यू आर ओपनिंग दिस ई फाइल एंड कम ऑन योर किंग इज देयर योर क्वीन इज देयर अभी तक वी वर से अरे ईडी फोर एंड ऐसे सब मूव यू डोंट इवन थिंक अबाउट इट But suddenly bishop e4 here. Here, such moves are so difficult because they come suddenly, and you you just miss them many times while calculating. So bishop e4. But the reason why this was a good move was exactly if rook takes e4, knight. Uh, sorry, rook takes e4. Ko not knight takes e4. Your rook g3 is important right now. If queen g3, then knight e4. and you still attack this you still attack this these guys are just completely uh, uh, scattered and not defending each other that is very important but if you play knight e4 right now before that and queen e4 and rook g3 white gets some time here in hand and um, counter play with queen b7 and all it's it's crazy let's not go into that because it's very computerish but bishop takes c6 has happened Oh my god and Karthik doesn't take with the bishop he takes with the pawn why because that was the whole advantage of going back with the bishop where you don't have to take with the pawn you don't have to weaken this a6 and you don't have to worry too much about long castle okay this is little bit surprising um i think maybe pressure but 45 minutes he's having and kaidan now is having 40 minutes d takes e5 by gregory yes looks super natural but what he has completely underestimated is the power of this bishop he has help to unleash the power of his opponent's bishop he this move has suddenly like your opponent is your friend that kind of a move because d takes e5 is very early and your guys black to play karthik finds the next move which was very very important for sure kaiden has missed this move this is the move he has missed it okay yeah advanced level tha yes not it but i completely agree with you that question ye game hi crazy hai bhannat as we call in marathi black to play what to do for queen g8 why wasn't king d क्वीन एफ एट भी तो है काफी कुछ था नेक्स्ट मूव बाय कार्तिक कैन यू गाइज फाइंड इट ही फाइंड इट एंड दिस इज द मूव विच गाइड एन आउट डेफिनेटली हैज मिस्ड इट सो कार्तिक हैज मैनेज टू कीप इट वेरी शार्प एंड बाय द वे लेट मी से लेट मी टेल यू काइड एन आउट हु इज सिक्सटी थ्री ईयर्स ओल्ड first of all just amazing he's from a, he's from usa first of all very amazing that he's at the world cup and 
you know it's not going to be easy to play with our indian youngsters for sure yes knight g4 that's the that's the absolute right move sumit naman ritik mandar well done knight g4 is the move which was found by kartik that was a little important thing i think he missed because uh, if d takes e5 this is what kaidana would have calculated that knight takes e5 we can play and this would have kept on going a little unclear a little upar niche ho jata tha but with knight g4 suddenly you know just capturing back and right now what is the idea if a natural move like ed6 imagine right this pawn on d6 is attacked by 1 2 3 or that two after takes queen is attacked so black to play one more question a lot of questions incoming in this position kya kheloge by the way we do have this bar uh, bar is here rakshit opi guys because at one go we are able to understand what's happening here um and we are looking at karthik's game right now which is the most one of the most critical game if karthik wins then he will play harsha uh, sorry he will play nakamura इतने सारे लोगों को आ रहा है क्या बात है प्राउड ऑफ यू गाइस बोथ द मूव्स व्हिच हैव बीन सजेस्टेड नाइट एफ टू एंड बिशप एफ टू यस बोथ द मूव्स आर गुड मूव्स बाय द वे इफ नाइट एफ टू द होल पॉइंट इज इफ यू टेक दिस क्वीन देन आई टेक योर क्वीन आल्सो बट विथ अ चेक एंड विथ द रुक अटैक सो अ डबल अटैक नो मे बी अ ट्रिपल अटैक बिकॉज द जी थ्री बिशप इज ऑल्सो अटैक so a triple attack and it's over for you and if you take bishop takes f2 if you take the piece back bishop takes f2 king takes f2 and here is the key point key observation which you had to make ki finally this knight was dependent kis pe is bishop pe bishop gaya to knight gaya queen h4 check and uh, it's completely uh, massacred for the white king that would be over uh so that is in the, if even if you start with bishop f2 check bishop f if bishop f2 ah no not knight f2 knight f2 would be a mistake but your intermediate h2 check would be important because if king f2 then you have knight f2 check and it's a fork and then you win the queen and if king f1 can you not go h1 mate uh, h1 queen yeah you can make h1 queen So yeah, this is how knight g four was missed, which means Karthik is almost very close to winning this game after knight g four. That's a good news. So Narayan is winning, Karthik is winning. Okay, what about Harsha? Because Harsha will play Magnus Carlsen if he is able to beat his opponent. Where is Harsha's game? Yeah, this is Harsha's game. Harsha played in the last. No, this is Divya's game. Ah, this is Harsha's game. After c5, bishop e2, he played bishop d6, and white played d3. Finally, all the threads which would be related with d3 ideas are stopped, and he has also vacated a square for the knight. So this game, Harsha is slightly worse. That's what the computer says. Though um, I feel it's still very very unclear. So Harsha's game, we will not know the results right now. What is happening there? Going to Adiban's game, the beast game. he has put his bishop on g5 queen develops to c7 there and um, this is also a little bit of unclear now with queen c7 henderson is saying yes ad you can take here and you can spoil my pawn structure but i am literally not worried about it though this looks powerful because next move i am going to keep my pawn on f5 block the power of your bishop whereas my bishops are going to be unleashing here so that is the whole point right now nothing with bishop h7 is coming nothing with knight g5 is happening so maybe ad really needs to be a little careful going to the but this might end in a draw and might go to tie break yeah ad's game going to um, divya's game with divya is she winning she was clearly better here she did not play e4 she played rook f e8 
rook f e1 and now e4 just still has a beautiful passer so divya is also winning so as of now we can say three people are almost going towards winning and that means almost towards round two uh, what about mary and gomes mary and gomes has reached oh this position a lot of moves have happened there this is the current position queen takes b4 and it's white to play uh, what is the material there mary is a pawn down four pawns here and one so this is the pawn down but in return she has amazing development so that's her advantage what she must be very careful is she cannot like if that is the compensation then she has to be very alert because development black once black is developed then he's sim going to be simply pawn up but right now maybe it's not even necessary she's just winning the pawn back after fe5 plus there is pressure over here on f7 so plus this bishop is super powerful will not allow easy development there so mary has advantage and if mary even draws that just simply taking her to round two what about nandida because nandida is um, nandida is slightly in a little, little difficult position so let's see what uh, happens here for priyanka nutekki who is playing against marina and she can create a big upset here she played queen e3 bishop went back knight went to f4 oh she has not gone for knight d4 idea she went for knight f4 um and now shifting her knight knight went to d3 she has a nice square for the knight on c5 queen is keeping an eye here at some point she will move her king to b1 maybe she will i don't know if she will kind of change with this plan or she will try to go for a king side plan but a lot of ideas but she is better she is better for sure oh so that's the update guys which game right now you want to see i think karthik's game rakshit says i think i finally fixed the runtime errors if you close the errors now i don't think the errors should come again are kya baat hai harsha is 30 minutes down let's see harsha's game Oh yeah he has only 15 minutes my goodness and that to a slightly difficult position so yeah that's something to definitely um... okay let's be here this is very exciting knight g4 was played and gregory plays rook e2 defends the f2 guy here so now black to play guys continue with the attack attack kar rahe ho jeet rahe ho bahut better hai fir bhi it's still a position where if you don't make the best moves you can yourself be under big trouble so black to play let's keep guessing what should be karthik's next move no what what would be your next move if you are in the place of karthik and you know that you are so close to winning that if you win this game then next may hai hikaru nakamura kya hi na the feeling of you know beating your opponent now and then getting to play at least two games for sure with hikaru nakamura also let me see if i can get the chat chess moves going okay most of you want to play this move so i am just showing in arrows the candidate moves which we are getting by the chat one is h2 one is uh, knight f2 both very natural candidate moves candidate moves are basically the options which we start first try to you know filter ki ye ye hai ye calculate karna hai because many people who come under time pressure they make the classic mistake of oh knight f2 dekha and then they start calculating till the end itna calculate karta hai ki opponent wo soch bhi nahi raha like he doesn't even care bhai tum kya kar rahe ho aur after half an hour you uh, what happens is like oh knight f2 but itna acha move nahi hai and then you play something else and then the opponent uh, 
you know you just get into time pressure so that is a classic mistake don't do that first try to just look at the possibilities and then try to uh, calculate with the forcing idea so h2 and knight f2 were the first two moves first two suggestions and you see here the natural move h2 check can literally flip the whole thing why all of you must have thought are bishop h2 mara to queen h4 well done beautiful proud of you guys but all of you missed ki bhai shanti se king h1 khel sakta hai na and that's where you give an advantage to him because all these ideas are now just not happening anymore that one move if white get he is the one who is attacking with your king in the center that's the reason i have to be very very careful and then the other move knight f2 which was suggested by all of you uh very complicated it could have been but rook f2 here if you take if you take bishop f2 bishop f2 um once again you don't really have much this is protected nothing immediate is happening there so not even knight f2 so best idea was to yes some people have suggested knight takes e5 uh, which is a simply you know taking the pawn simply taking the pawn there attacking the queen and knight takes e5 d takes e5 and now once again having a double bishop advantage lose pieces a lot of pressure on the king side this was a position in which you could have landed up but kartik had a choice to take with the pawn or the knight he decides to take with the pawn because the knight here looks so tempting that is why he must have chosen d takes e5 gregory has come down to 31 minutes this is move number 21 this is in this complicated position gregory needs to make another 20 moves 20 moves need to be made so um not an easy task but as we have seen for kartik one thing is there with uh, with this exchange on the d file the d pawns here the tension in the center is now not existing to that level बिकॉज ऐसा नहीं है कि कभी भी ये मरेगा कभी भी ये मरेगा ये इट्स अ लिटल बिट काइंड ऑफ गॉन टू अ काम सिचुएशन रुक डी वन बट विथ एन एडवांटेज विथ ब्लैक रुक डी वन प्लेड यू कैन नॉट लॉन्ग कैसल बिकॉज इट वुड बिकम टू वीक इफ यू लॉन्ग कैसल ओके गाइज इफ लॉन्ग कैसल वाइट टू प्ले फाइंड अ विनिंग मूव इन फैक्ट दैट्स द ओनली मूव that is very surprising for me white to play find the only move not everybody is saying bhai simple calculation bhi mujhse nahi ho sakta ho nahi hota ho jayega ho jayega ye simple hai simple what is the vote right now we have got 1700 votes intermediate 48% advanced 36% and beginner 15% so i don't know if i'm doing intermediate or advanced guys what do you call this whether it is intermediate or advanced because accordingly i might have to prakash you can write on chess with india at uh, gmail.com send your resume what you are looking at and i mean the team will check i don't get into that so if you get any reply then maybe yes i am doing advanced intermediate beginner to nahi hai code with amar ye kid level hai kya aur advanced karu ha uh-huh. okay so guys are giving answers and i see a few options there one is knight d6 check Why? Because both are tempting. Like, right? Knight d6 check. Either a queen a6, but guys, c takes d6. And even if you win this pawn, King Muzier supports this. Nothing is happening. Okay. So that's not the answer. But all those who said knight, okay, not even knight b6, but knight a5, Sima, Aryan. <clears throat> yes, that's the right move. Knight goes to a5. The idea is. checkmate in two moves dekha kya checkmate in two moves queen a6 check queen b7 checkmate that's the whole idea there 
एंड इट्स वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज यू कैन नॉट प्रोटेक्ट दिस गाय बिकॉज ये स्क्वेयर चाहिए था वही स्क्वेयर इसने ले लिया है सो दैट्स द रीजन यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल सो रुक डी वन हेज बिन प्लेयर एंड कार्तिक इज थिंकिंग इफ ही मस्ट कंटिन्यू विद द एडवांटेज ही नीड्स टू प्ले येस रुक डी एट इज अ वेरी नेचुरल एंड सिंपल मूव और मूविंग द बिशअप अवे फ्रॉम द डी फाइव ही कैन प्ले आइदर ऑफ दिस मूव एंड ही स्टिल इन टू द गेम सो लेट्स सी दिस इज कार्तिक्स गेम एस एल वॉज विनिंग इज ई स्टिल विनिंग येस ही इज स्टिल विनिंग हिज लॉर्ड ऑफ एक्सचेंजेस हैव हैपन बट इट्स अपोजिट कलर्ड बिशअप दो ही इज मटीरियली थ्री प्लस थ्री प्लस सेवन पॉन्स एंड वाइट हैज ओनली फाइव पॉन्स मटीरियली टू पॉन्स अप बट क्वीन ए सेवन अटैक द बेज ऑफ द पॉन्स चेन और एक गया तो बाकी भी गए सो ब्लैक टू प्ले ही इज थिंकिंग देर वॉट टू डू या जस्ट जस्ट सपोर्टिंग दिस would be the easiest thing to do that's the most important thing but yeah he's just two pawns up so that's and that to the king is weak so sl is winning consistently winning um uh, abhimanyu's advantage computer says has gone down now and if black is slowly you know regrouping his pieces similar to the structure of sicilian now though it was uh, ray lopez it has now converted into something like that kind of a structure a break with d5 could be could be in the air sometime e4 is weak with a lot of pieces hanging towards that so this is a this is a war between the weaknesses yeah for d6 there is e4 that's definitely there uh, this a pawn can be pushed and will create a weakness on the b file i mean either of this pawn here so this is a war which is kind of unclear we will come back to it adiban's game is he has he managed to you know create some sort of uh, imbalances yes bishop f6 gf6 bishop e4 rook goes to d8 and one bishop is exchanged so the pair of bishop advantage with black is not there anymore and we know queen and knight is a good combination is a better combination than queen and bishop in many of the cases in end game so that's something this king needs to be alert it's a weak king he will have to be alert for the rook lifts and so on also adiban has a queen side majority so creating a passer could be possible but i believe this game would end in a draw that's my prediction karthik has still not played he is thinking going to harsha's game which is the slowest game of today uh he has castled after a long thought and levan has come down to 40 minutes he is thinking how long has he taken 12 minutes he is thinking whether he can castle and his king will be safe there divya's game divya was winning so she is maintaining her advantage there but what happened because yeah okay the pawn got exchanged she exchanged ef3 uh which was not the best idea there it had to be maintained the tension had to be maintained over here um, and h5 h4 actually it was very divya style so surprising that she missed it surprising that she missed it hmm so she took here takes takes goes with the knight to e4 there takes takes and after this exchanges okay it's no more as simple because it's the bishop versus knight she has an extra pawn on the king side whereas white has an extra pawn white has a pawn majority on the queen side so it's not going to be so easy to create a passer here so this is divya's game but with a lot of ideas in the air of rook lift and a weakness there i'm sure she will uh, be able to convert this into a win what about mary and gomes yeah mary and gomes retains the advantage fe5 happens on the board so that's another good news for us nandida is in is is under trouble so if she loses yeah she will be out of this tournament and the final game uh, priyanka versus marina brunello priyanka is maintaining the advantage now that is just amazing bishop has gone to c8 right now priyanka is thinking very very nice options for her one is to simply bring the rook here to e1 to challenge the exchange 
the other one is to simply attack this queen kick this queen away from here because not many squares for the black queen there so and one is to just keep the bishop here increase the pressure and also aim at knight c5 so many options for priyanka she is strategically positionally clearly better against marina also has more time so i guess we will stick to kartik and harsha's game because their opponents tomorrow will be magnus carlson and hikaru nakamura if they manage to win kartik mood oh okay yes he did play bishop e6 and gregory went knight a5 attacking this guy here on c6 kartik went queen f6 but here oh kartik missed a chance oh my god this was so sharp and so tactical guys what did kartik miss here black to play can you find it oh day after tomorrow yes i think we will be focusing on this game because this game is intense like anything what did kartik miss here So I've got two moves from you guys. One is queen c5 and one is bishop f2. Yes, bishop f2 was an amazing move, a winning move here for Karthik. Now, obviously, it was always in the air, but with lot of tactics to be calculated. Knight f2, and the idea was uh, rook f2, and this is the reason. Not not bishop f2 because you just want to take knight f2 because we have seen this analysis earlier and it was not working. bishop goes to f2 and black white is in control but the reason was this move now how are you even going to imagine such a move such a queen jumping to c5 all of a sudden so this was very very tough queen c5 also what the what the hell i mean what the idea is because knight f2 there is bishop f2 so what exactly is happening yes you are attacking this knight and what happens if this knight just simply goes back what is the idea guys black to play here so this is the idea black to play very important brilliant man i mean no wonder this has been missed because it's so bookish <laughs> bookish i mean it's so it's it's a position which will come in the books by all these tactical books those kind of that kind of position Amruta, can we have a star for the player score who are still playing? I think I have written they're playing, right? All of them. So that's the reason. Oh, by the way, maybe I can put your slaying as we as we had discussed. Karthik is slaying his opponent. Then um, I think um, yeah, Priyanka. We not not so bad. So it's still but little bit bad, I guess. Harsha is playing. So S L. If I find yeah, S L is also slaying his opponent. that's what sagar had given an idea slaying slaying <laughs> h2 h2 yes exactly guys this was an important moment because h2 here is the reason you are deflecting this guy over here and then winning this uh important rook here also for h2 as we have seen if king h1 then there is knight f2 check and if king f1 there is a queen so queen c5 what a move i mean what a brilliance yaar kya hi idea i am sure kartik is going to be very very sad that he missed it but nevertheless what did he play he played queen f6 now suddenly suddenly white gets a big opportunity to equalize and to equalize he needed to find this move let me ask you Attacking moves, fata fat dunte ho tum log. Defense. Can you find a defense? The best defense here for white. Not easy. Socho. 
until I come back in a moment. Okay, that was the question. What should white play? Rook f1, knight c6, rook d2, knight f3. Yep. Rook, yes, guys. Who, whoever said rook e d2. No, not this rook e2. Sorry, sorry. Rook d d2. That was the right move. But so unnatural i mean rook d2 the whole idea is only to defend this pawn here because look at this one two and three and here you have one two and three and four guys you have four people there to defend that so that is the reason rook d2 was important so that if knight f2 there is rook takes f2 though it is a pin but let's not get into too much details right now because the game is going crazy interesting. What happened after Queen F6, which Karthik, in play, which Karthik played, uh, Knight C6 was played, which was a blunder. And now Karthik finds the reason of the blunder. Knight takes F2. That's the reason this rook was important on D2 to defend this. But now with this guy, if rook takes f2, black to play. I mean, many, many possibilities. But the best move we have been looking at again and again. Black to play. What should you do? Actually, I can't say we have been looking at... I mean, we have been looking at the patterns and the whole... This landscape, if we talk about the... Tactical landscape, we know what are the weaknesses, what can be hanging, what are the whole ideas, the pawn on h3, the bishop on g3 and everything. Yet, 
द होल थिंग इज अबाउट वीविंग इट एट द राइट टाइम एट यू नो इट कैन नॉट बी लाइक द सेम आइडिया विल वर्क इन दिस मॉर्डर एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो दैट इज द होल ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस आई मीन वॉट अ वॉट अ टैक्टिकली रिच गेम दिस हैज बीन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इम्प्रूव टैक्टिक्स जस्ट वंस अगेन गो थ्रू दिस गेम लेटर आराम से मोस्ट ऑफ यू मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर सेंग दिस मूव एच टू द रीजन आई बिलीव इज फॉर बिशप एच टू क्वीन एफ टू इज यूर आइडिया और बिशप एफ टू इज यूर आइडिया फेर इनफ बट आफ्टर किंग टेक्स एच टू यू डोंट गेट द सेम अमाउंट ऑफ एडवांटेज देर विच यू शुड बी गेटिंग बिकॉज टेक्स टेक्स क्वीन एफ एंड देर इज दैट इज द रीजन वाई that is the reason why white to play doesn't work very quickly white to play can you find can you find it why this doesn't work yeah never forget the last move whenever your opponent makes a move ask yourself ki what is your idea अपोनेंट को मत पूछो वॉट इज योर आइडिया येस देर इज अ चेक मेट इन टू मूव एवरीबडी इज अलर्ट फटाफट फटाफट एवरीबडी इज राइटिंग द आंसर आई लाइक द स्पीड देर गाइज क्वीन डी एट चेक रुक डी एट एंड रुक डी एट इज अ मेट दैट्स वॉट द जॉब इज ऑफ दिस नाइट ऑन सी सिक्स बट एनी वे दैट इज द रीजन कार्तिक हैड टू बी वेरी वेरी केयरफुल ही प्लेज what did he play one second yeah bishop f2 was played because obviously um, in that whole variation queen f2 was not uh, the move there uh, i will get back there bishop f2 this is what is happening right now rook takes f2 and he simply takes this knight and if you count the material uh, the pieces are equal and if you count the pawns 1 2 3 4 5 6 pawns for black One, two, three, four, five pawns for white. Currently, this is the scenario. But black is a pawn up. But look at this king. Now it's become so weak, so weak. Yes, the dark square bishop is gone. But you are getting this rook inside on g three. Your king is actually very, very safe, safely guarded. This, 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 this. No entry on the d file as of now. so uh, no queen b5 ideas everything is under control karthik is winning beautifully here what is the format of this tournament utkarsh they are all qualified to round 2 directly because they are in the top seeds so that's the reason so queen h4 and karthik is so close to winning and then getting to a match with nakamura wow maza aane wala hai guys and we'll also have sagar in round 2 theek hai so this is kartik's uh, now that we have a bit of time i just want to show you ki yahan pe when we were looking at h2 king h2 bishop f2 this is something we are looking at and not queen that's the reason that's the reason your the move i had asked all of you to find was rook g3 black to play it was rook g3 taking this defender off deflecting this queen and now bishop f2 queen f2 at this point h2 because you cannot take it's a deflection so ye yeah, h2 hai na h2 is all dependent on the timing like it is so annoying for the opponent because it's in every calculation at every point he will have to consider it that's the whole point as i have upon you cannot ignore it it does exist there and at sudden moment it's going to be uh, you know becoming alive that kind of a thing and sometimes you might just forget about it because it's not moved or you know not threatening anything you might just forget h2 exists so that's the whole point karthik is clearly better let's now check harsha's game because he had a slight uh, slightly difficult position and has he managed to come out of it queen b6 he has 5 minutes levan has 36 minutes 
they have to make 25 moves so harsha is coming under time pressure levan knows that yesterday he was you know clearly better at some point he was clearly better against harsha and he blundered and he lost in that complicated game so today he will be in revenge mode and he would want to win this and yeah with the time pressure unless levan blunders today it may not be so easy for this game going to narayanan's game yeah he is still maintaining no his advantage is still increasing day by day <laughs> and bishop d6 is the last move this pawn is going to be pushed there there is weakness okay that's oh plus this as well he still maintains the advantage there abhimanyu so abhimanyu's rook is attacked but he is also attacking this guy here white to play guys are you going to save this rook or are you going to take the knight? A question for you. Intelligent BG do not um, write the same move again and again. A pill also. You can write once. No, Sagar is not playing. Day by day, nahi, minute by minute. <laughs> Both confusion chal rai chat me. Save or take the night. <laughs> okay. The first thing is if you can actually take the night where you are getting two pieces for the rook. Yeah, two pieces for the rook. This is the first position to actually consider. Ki kya hai karke? This is attack. This is attack uh, twice. And you. this is also attack. So looks like this has a forced idea there. And knight b3. And this is the position which we will, uh, while calculating, naturally we are going to reach here. But, yaha pe, white to play. Your queen is attacked. White to play, find a move, and then with that move, you will say, ki, Okay, ye to chal hai, mere ko. it's good. I miss knight d3 4. Yes, I'll go there. I'm just looking at a simple. Uh, I, I'll check that. Yes, queen h6, and it's game over. Knight g5, incoming, all of these threats here, bishop f7, and all of that. Going back where people observed. I like that knight d3 is a piece which was hanging. So knight d3 and black will simply be an exchange up. So in this case, it's going to be difficult. Uh, you cannot take the c1 guy there. You will have to move the bishop here. But then this bishop will also save itself. So this is another position which we will land into. Uh, and white is an exchange down. White is an exchange down. So, very difficult to assess this position uh, that he can have this advantage, but he needed to play very accurately, like taking this pawn and having this whole idea over here. I would say very unnatural. <coughs> so, maybe AB6 is not an easy move. <coughs> yeah, AB6 is the best move actually with this variation. Takes and then bishop c4, bishop f4. And taking here. This is the best variation there. Because if you take and try to defend this. The problem is that e5 is hanging. And white will be winning. So that's the reason. ab6 is the best move. Abhimanyu is actually in a, on, in a tough spot. Because if he moves the rook. If he doesn't take and if he moves the rook. Then, he, then after takes takes. I think uh, black will have some, uh, some counterplay here. This bishop is coming on this diagonal. Then the knight will reroute. Rook is opening up. So, doesn't seem very pleasant for white. Okay. Let's go to Karthik's game. Because, oh, it's over. 
No, it's not over. Bishop f2, rook f2, queen h4 was played. And oh, look at this. What a timing we came on this game. Rook fd2 was played. And uh, Karthik takes rook g2 check. In place of queen b6, knight d3. Yes, I got that. We analyzed that. Sacrifice the rook. <laughs> well, it's not a sacrifice, but yeah, rook g2. Of course, mostly we'll take here, take here, take here. And at least the h pawn is out for white's sake. And, uh, but look at the king. Oh my god, so exposed. Yeah, here you will need to play simply because the main aim is to get the rook into the game. And to get the rook into the game... How do you do that? A question to all of you. Like in terms of planning, I'm not asking. How do you plan to get the rook out? Okay. No, you cannot attack the queen. That would be the blunder. It's hanging. There is knight on c6. So that's the whole point that this knight is stopping the rook to come to any of the open file there. Okay. Many of you have suggested the right plan. The plan of f6. Then taking the king out to f7 and then going rook g8. I mean getting the rook out. So that's a good, good plan. Few of you have also suggested king f8, king g7 instead of, uh, you know, f6. <clears throat> but with this, the problem is that you have blundered and knight e5 is hanging. So f6 is the move there. I think that will happen and then he will bring his king out. So it's still going to be slow. Guys, whatever it is. It's not, it's still not as simple in that sense because there is queen and knight and the kings are exposed for both with white, white's king being weaker than black's king without any doubt. But still, you need to be careful until it is over. So that's Karthik's game right now. Moving towards, uh, yeah, Yanzu. Everything is hanging by a thread for sure. Let's look at the bars, our roundup right now. What's happening there? So, if I look at the bar, oh, Narayanan is moving towards minus 5 or a minus 4. Let's, let's take one point lesser. Puranic, almost equal. Only looking at the bars, guys. Adiban in a slightly difficult situation. Karthik, which we are looking at right now. Yeah, Karthik is better. I think the bar is saying minus one, but it's a little bit more. Harsha is in some trouble, it's saying. Divya is winning. Mary is better. Priyanka is better. And Nandida is in trouble. So currently, if we have to, uh, you know, the, the players who are in danger of getting knocked out are Nandida and uh, Harsha. I think these are the two players who are in some danger, major danger right now. The bars are glitching for now. I'm changing things. Ah, okay, you're changing things. No problem. But it does still give some idea for sure. Uh, well, let's look at Harsha's game now. We left at uh, maybe castle, queen b6, knight b3, rook d8. He's defending the d4 guy as we were talking about it. Yay. Ye Shan is game ka. Shan, if you all remember the movie Shan. Bishop g4 by Harsha. He's challenged uh, this bishop. But because the though the bishop was a, 
inside this pawns the light square pawn chain it was threatening to come to f3 and with this even a7 was getting weak so maybe harisha decides to exchange the bishop which is quite an interesting idea now your levan has to find that before he exchanges this he must play c5 if he finds c5 he is definitely still in good form it's an important move c5 also blocks the defense of this pawn and um yeah if he doesn't play c5 if let's say he plays takes then after knight g4 there yeah this can be very interesting with the knight with h2 with the queen possible to shift uh, with even the knight here attacking this pawn this weakness on d3 so that could be all interesting so bishop g4 is actually a nice move by harsha here he in fact also had knight g4 which was a little tempting but at the right time white would have taken this okay so harsha is having only 4 minutes i think that's the only worry in this game but if harish harish but he has an extra motivation to play against magnus Oh yeah, Harsha won yesterday. So even if Harsha miss, like if he gets under trouble, it's still a tie break. S L Narayan won his game. That's the news. That's the first game. No, it's still going on. Not he is not won. Oh, but almost winning. Yeah, Rook B one, last move. Providence has played Rook B one. Yeah, I'll simply move the. कुछ भी चलेगा वाला पोजीशन है काफी कुछ भी चलेगा दैट टाइप ऑफ पोजीशन या हर्षा इज ओनली फोर मिनट्स अभिमन्यु ओ व्हाट डिड अभिमन्यु डू बाय द वे ही एक्चुअली प्लेड ए बी सिक्स ओ दैट इज कूल अभिमन्यु फाइंड्स ए बी सिक्स बिशप सी वन एंड ही प्लेज बिशप सी फोर वाओ अभिमन्यु इन ग्रेट फॉर्म This was all not so easy. Bishop f four, and he takes queen d six. Brilliant! He has twenty four minutes, and this is a brilliant calculation right now. What he did, uh, because at this point, look at the e four one two and three guys are attacking this. Plus this guy who is defending this is also under attack. But black needs if black needs to be in this game. he needs to play this move bishop e8 this defensive move supporting the knight on c5 that is a move which he really needs to play if he doesn't support the knight by playing bishop e8 then <clears throat> where is this knight going to go this is controlled this is controlled this is controlled e6 also then there is the bishop on c4 so you only can play knight d7 or knight e4 but you can see the bar is saying winning for white find a move white to play white to play Akshay says I actually spoke to Legion's developers. The endpoint I was using to get the dev game data was slow and laggy, especially when the site was busy. They gave a new endpoint. Wow, Akshay, amazing. Maybe within an hour. Okay, so from tomorrow we'll have better. That's it, Akshay. Every day we are improving. There is progress. What more can we ask for? For me, I just don't like stagnancy. But even a minute progress is like amazing progress. Wow, this is not easy, guys. This is not easy. Like they win first of all. Knight G five, isn't it hanging? Bishop G five. Knight F five. All these moves look tempting. 
Aditya says is confused. I like your honest opinion. Queenie seven is also suggested, which is quite a decent move. That I must admit it. We are wanting to take this, but there is an IB six. It's it's possible. It keeps advantage, but not the best move. But the best move was difficult, and Sujal Parab has found it. Saumik Banerjee as well. Knight e two taking this knight back, attacking this guy here, opening up the bishop so that there are all the meeting nets there. And if you go back there, then there is knight takes e five. These two are devastating. So that's what we know also about Abhi Manu. He loves to attack, so he's not going to miss this chance. Oh, some moves have happened in the game. His opponent doesn't find bishop e eight. He goes, oops, he goes bishop b five, and that's a blunder because right now Abhi Manu has a move which will, which is taking towards game over. But he has to find their only move, only move for white, white to play. What should you play? And mind you, there are some tempting options, but can you find the best move for white? बागेश्वरी दो दो अलग अलग मूव्स नहीं नाइट एफ फाइव बिशप डी फाइव या ओके यस यू गाइस आर फाइंडिंग इट बट बाय द वे लाइक अ मूव लाइक बिशप डी फाइव इज नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क इट्स गोइंग टू लाइक वन मूव स्लो बार इज वेरी हैप्पी यू जस्ट टेक द पॉन ऑन बी सिक्स एंड सडनली द क्वीन द क्व the knight will jump in, defend this guy here. This will be unleashed. So that is the reason you have to be a little bit more careful. And all those who have suggested knight e5 is the right time. Knight e5 simply winning a pawn. Taking means the mating net here not going to work. <clears throat> not taking means if you take anything like bishop c4, then that is the reason here. Find a final winning move. This is the reason. Once again, mind you, final winning move. You miss it and you give up an opportunity to your opponent. Vidit Shah says Adiban game is interesting. I'll check that out. Vidit Shah. Is this your real name? Vidit Shah. क्या बात है सब जाग गए हैं थोड़े लोग हैं सोए हुए जो नाइट सो बिशप को मारना चाह रहे हैं और जो ये मिस कर रहे हैं कि इधर एक बिशप था but guys all those who have found queen f six brilliant job there ready for a checkmate ready for a discos many discos and unstoppable mates so that's cool so bishop b5 so if abhimanyu plays knight e5 consider the game over in two moves so well done abhimanyu vidisha says lol i am a gujarati just like sagar okay so sagar shah jaise vidisha got it not like you are not a fan of vidit or sagar because of which you are vidisha <laughs> good to know okay so that's abhimanyu's uh, game will he find knight e5 i think yes इसीलिए तो यहां तक आया है ये खेला है गाइस शुड आई स्टे यर और शुड आई शिफ्ट टू अदर गेम ईशान व्हाट इज द नंबर अंडर द बार इज डिस्क्राइब द एडवांटेज ऑफ प्लेयर्स और एडवांटेज ऑफ व्हाइट प्लेयर्स ऊप्स एक सेकेंड लेट मी जस्ट क्लोज दैट होल थिंग सो दैट यू विल गेट टू सी द इवेल्युएशन 
so the number if the number is in minus that means whoever the black player is has advantage and the higher the number higher the advantage if it's not in minus then white will have the advantage okay so i hope you got it adiban okay we should shift shift stay so i'll shift well, it says i'm a fan of both but my name is not influenced okay great that's cool that's cool so let's move to the next game i am sure uh, abhimanyu is going to find knight e5 and guys let me know when he finds it going to which game Ab adiban's game going to adiban's game we have entered queen and knight versus queen and bishop and it looks like in control so i believe this game is going to end in a draw which which is not a bad thing actually because then it goes in tie breaks this game will go in tie break king g7 yeah it's all in control let's go to karthik's game the most inter the game of the day i would say until now if you guys have some other game of the day let me know he did go f6 here karthik played f6 as we were discussing rook h1 the queen goes back gives the check king f2 and karthik uh, karthik goes king f7 ready to move his rook gregory is thinking gregory has gone down to 9 minutes and he has to make 9 moves so he is thinking is he thinking of this check on d8 if knight d8 check guys what's your plan black to play Jai Pandit as are the tie breaks today or tomorrow tie breaks are tomorrow Jai Pandit tie break bahut hi lamba hai 25 minutes ke two games if they end in a draw 10 minutes uh, plus 10 seconds ke two games if they end in a draw 5 plus 3 two games if they end in a draw then 3 plus 2 oof bol ke hi thak gayi to kal sab khelne wale hai रुगड़ीएट 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 अरे गाइस प्राउड ऑफ यू यस रुगड़ीएट इज द राइट मूव क्वीन डी एट बट यहाँ पे हैव यू सीन वाई इट इज वर्किंग प्लीज प्लीज टेल मी द रीजन yes exactly queen f4 is the right move your queen f4 check and you can see wherever the king goes you are winning this pawn queen e4 the king must take care to defend the rook sahi pe bhi jayega king g1 or and then you are you just simply winning because of the material with this or can you recover the material i am keen to see i king g2 because you don't have bishop d5 check otherwise you would have nicely won this back but uh if yeah yeah maybe it is not about you don't win the rook back but eventually you will be with the bishop and these three pawn i mean actually not even to these two pawns the h pawn the bishop and the queen they will create a mating net oh by the way knight d8 has happened in the game so karthik needs to take this knight because if he doesn't then if he let's let's just say if he plays king e7 yeah just see the bar says ki nahi ye bar bar mistake nahi ho sakti hai king takes e6 and this major piece end game is actually a draw because your white will suddenly get some squares uh, to give some perpetual ideas and some weaknesses in there import oh he does not think he takes here and queen f4 check karthik very very alert not giving any chance anymore very nice very nice play by karthik instead of queen e1 what if queen b1 good question actually we i think we are reaching there 
So for king g1, you get asked instead of why not queen b1. Nice. He played king h2. Gregory has played king h2. They have completed 35 moves actually. So uh, only 5 moves remo remaining and 9 minutes with Kaidenau. So I don't think time is going to play a huge factor here. But what Karthik only needs to take care is the perpetual to the king. Wow, but what a game. Mazedar. Om Shri asks, will Karthik play Hikaru if he wins? Yes. And constantly it reminds me of 2017 World Cup where uh, Magnus in round 2 itself was uh, knocked out by Bu Ziangzi. So you never know that, um, you know, You'll never know that you might have such chances. Okay, so guys, uh, King H2 has been played and he's thinking, can we do a quick roundup? Let's go to round one over, let's go to game one over here. SL Narayanan, he has been winning and he has been winning since a long time. So in a way, though he will win after a long time, he still has, I, I don't think he needed to use that intense energy for this game. In this game, 95 has been played by Abin Manu. Very, very alert, not missing a chance. So he's getting a beautiful finish with Queen F6 coming up in the next move and a solid attack here. I mean, almost checkmating attack there. Going to Adiban's game, it is going towards a draw. I don't think there is any... Okay, in fact, Adiban might try to even complicate the matters, but I do think it will still end in a draw. Here, Karthik has played Queenie to check and Kaidano is thinking most interesting game of the day. Next, H4 is coming up. Where is the king going to go? You can only go G King G3 or King G1. But if King G3... If King G3 isn't H4 winning, because if you play King H4, black to play just to see how many of you are awake. Even if you are multitasking, you will find a move. Let's see. Change slaying to 1, but he's not 1 yet. Karthik is also slaying. I should... Yeah, no, he's... <laughs> Okay, he's gone King G1 though. But yeah, a lot of you are alert. Kya baat hai? Mate in one, checkmate in one, Queen G4. So I say he khatam ho jata tha game. But he played it. That's the reason King G1 has been played. And let's see what Karthik will play now. Very, very cool finish we are going to be seeing. Let's, let's be here. For a while because it's a beautiful position and the king is super exposed you don't get to see this often just look at this uh, you know side from the d file no white pawn on this file it's like it's like minus 18 degrees and the king is completely shivering with cold the king is shivering with cold Virat says Arsha made a move at 2 seconds on the clock. Okay, that's... We will go there. Okay, let's keep switching in between that game as well. This is Arsha's game. Uh, we are at this position. C5 was actually played. Queen E6, Bishop G4, Knight G4, H3. He went Knight E5. He lost the D4 pawn. Okay, but still. It, he's still in the game. A5. Still having some compensation because, because the d3 is weak. That's the compensation and because the a pawn can literally keep the knight away. So, 
complicated to play in 50 seconds oh my god he has to make 20 moves in 15 seconds and Levan is slowly going down to 18 minutes okay this game we will again come back to but let's go to Karthik's game did he play yes he played h4 now his threat is checkmate in two moves does white have a check white has a check queen c7 check is there but uh, you can take your king to g6 with a no check position look at the king actually if you see everything is controlled so only one only a check and it's going to be a mate one check you need abhimanyu played 95 yes we saw that did his opponent make a move What if Rook takes the pawn? Yeah, if you take the pawn, maybe you can answer black to play. Ishan, black to play. If Rook takes the pawn, LPDO, lose pieces, drop off. That's the clue. Kya hi sab fada fat shaurya, apurva, krunal, saumik, om. Suhas, Su Pushkar, kya baat hai? We need one check and pick up the rook. That's the whole point. So h4 has been played and he's thinking he might play this check. But king goes to g6. And maybe in order to, you know, defend your king, you might try to do something like this. Because if now you play h3, then there is queen f2. And you see you have kind of defended to some extent. So black will have to kind of still stay alert and finish in a good way. Divya ka game dikhao. Chalo dikhati hoon. We will come, we will reach there I think. So we will again come to this game very quickly. Oops, what's wrong? Okay, this is Divya's game by the way. She's black and it's somehow not easy anymore because it's a rook end game and rook end games can always, can always flip. Yes, she has advantage. She has played a4 there. But, uh, and there is also this double pawn. But it's going to be a lot of hard work for Divya. If she needs to win this. She has 21 minutes and 6 minutes to Azar Puteri. Uh, Azar has to make 8 moves in 6 minutes. So that's not too much for this kind of a position. But definitely, it's not so easy. It's not so easy to win this. Going to the next game, Mary and Gomes with white is still clearly better. The check to her, king can simply go there and the rook is attacked. Her, her pieces are very active. She's an exchange up. So Mary Ann is winning but will have to be careful as well. Nandida is fighting and maybe, maybe, who knows. The king, because it's opposite side castle, anything can happen. Though she has been in worse position, here somehow she's managed to kind of uh, get the gap a little bit lesser. Going to Priyanka's position who has been attacking. Wow, her advantage is increasing. Look at the king completely boxed in. Priyanka is better. I'm sure this is she's going to be able to convert this. H5 is the last move by black. Well, you can just simply exchange the rook and even capture the pawn. It could be possible. Let's come back to um, this game. He played queen c7 check, king g6. We are actually, whatever we are looking at is happening on the board. Most probably queen c5. Queen c5 is forced, almost practically forced right now. Only thing to take care by Karthik is not to play h3. Not to play h3 here. But then what to play? What to play? The right way to continue would be then to give a check here. You, your queen still cannot come back. And then to give a check at not so easy here. This has to be because now you again cannot get your queen back. H1 is hanging. So the king needs to go to G1. <laughs> but how do you, how do you progress here guys? 
what do you do here black to play can you can you think of some ideas not a move one move bata ke koi matlab nahi hai you have this check you have this here but how do you progress because white is looking at queen f2 and you cannot allow you know that time to white bishop d5 you want to play i think uh, you want to do a checkmate here and your plan is if i go uh, this then there is checkmate in one and if rook h2 ah uh, then there is queen g3 if king f1 queen h2 oh but then you you'll go in the queen end game got it but with this extra pawn ah bishop d5 is good oh moves are happening he played he gave a check first and for king g2 look what he plays he went h3 wow so he cannot play oh, oh sorry sorry king h3 kaise aayega abhi bishop is not on d5 bishop is still here so what do you do if king f3 then you lose the rook if king h2 here it's going to be a checkmate with queen g2 or you win the rook so he plays rook takes h3 kartik gives a check right now uh if you move the king then you simply lose the rook so queen f2 ah this is a position to resign it's over you are losing a rook you are losing a rook it's over yes guys bishop d5 was good it was simply winning is trying to look at not bishop d5 but just some checks there and with the h pawn but wasn't needed this is great this is over a nice intermezzo found by kartik h3 at the right time and a resignation incoming i believe and 40 moves are over by the way this was a 40th move by kartik but the game is going to get over because <clears throat> queen f2 then bishop h3 and you cannot take here this is hanging so this will you will remain a piece up so kartik is winning after queen e2 he will resign kaidana will resign in a, in one or two moves at the most i believe so kartik will play hikaru nakamura in the next round guys this is just simply brilliant this is no way that he can mess up he is more than minus 10 better uh so there is no way that you know this can get jinxed in any way so let's go to the let's go to harsha's game this is divya's game by the way which right now after takes takes she has the rook on uh, her opponent has played a3 and divya is thinking i think her major advantage is the king side uh, majority she will have to start with g5 take some yeah she goes king f7 but eventually she will start with g5 g4 but what if rook b1 right now that could give counter play to her opponent maybe g5 she had to start because if rook b1 right now yes if you think of taking on d4 rook d4 rook d4 you might win a pawn but what you might not have forgotten is you will also lose the c6 pawn and this could become dangerous so that will give equality so rook b1 over here you cannot take your this pawn that was the reason the whole idea of g5 was maybe to go for a mating net that if rook b6 then there is rook c1 or rook c2 because g4 is an unstoppable mate wow that was cool i should have asked you that question find rook c2 there but theek hai because if you go rook c1 then the king can get out of the checkmate that's the whole point theek hai so divya is better but uh, her opponent right now can try to go for some counter play did the, his opponent resign queen e2 check he still thinking 40 moves done i am not getting harsha's game for some reason let me just go there again ah uh, there we have yeah let's stick to harsha's game because he has only 20 seconds and a lot of moves have to be played 13 moves need to be played 
these pawns are completely rolling at him in fact harsha is almost lost last move was d5 oh it's quite tough here what do you do it feels like you need to give up some material in order to uh, feel a little bit safe but he plays bishop c3 this rook is attacked but what are you planning to do for rook c1 which will attack your bishop in return i think harsha had only 6 seconds you cannot think so easily but yesterday he was able to make the best moves even in 5 seconds that's the whole thing about time pressure even if you do it one day it's not easy to do it keep doing it consistently i think one more player reminds me you can play really amazing chess in time pressure and that's grishchuk he lands up in such time pressure but and he plays unbelievable chess in time pressure hello joy datta nice to see you here i think i have missed the chat for a while so hi everyone and guys do like the stream we have 12 like 36589 subscribers so do also sorry i think i had end up oh 604 we cross 600 oh that is awesome thank you for subscribing subscribing all of you but do like the stream and do check out these bars here one second i will let, let me just get them on the yep yeah do check these bars out and the new evaluations have been updated you will get a whole round up with the bars bishop b4 just that maybe thoda sa ek idea aayega it's not exactly perfect tomorrow it will be improved kartik one on time ah so kartik this is over here yeah? no 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 is the game over guys or is it going on but anyway he's just winning so okay what about abhimanyu did he win uh, because he had played knight e5 and what did his opponent play oh crazy it's going crazy his opponent went knight e6 abhimanyu took the knight ibara took this bishop from c3 now he must at least be feeling a little bit safe but bishop takes f7 and still the king is in a complete mess guys question to you let's see a speed and alertness and jo bhi hai sab chodo kyunki 1 second mein aane wala hai white if king h8 white to play checkmate in one move can you find it checkmate in one move white to play apurva sar ishan nikhil normi saumik hasan मिलाप सौम्या विनुता विशाल सौमिक पुष्कर श्रेष्ठ प्रहलाद मंदार नॉट यूट्यूबर उत्कर्ष नॉट क्रेश कदमकुटी स्टेला श्रीवत्स वेदान चेस अमीशे अनुकूल किलर देवशीष मंजुश्री भावना पीयूष ध्रुव अनमोल अलविस ब्रूस शमन ओके आई हैव रेड आई रेड ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द नेम्स अंटिल दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम बट येस क्वीन एफ सिक्स वुड बी योर चेक मेट इन वन मूव मजा आ गया गाइस एकदम ही एक्टिव हो गया चैट मजा आ गया बिशप एफ सेवन चेक Uh, he played queen takes f7 he sacrificed his queen there is no option queen takes b8 and with it abhidaya uh, abhidaya abhimanyu is clearly winning abhimanyu is clearly winning here queen b8 check this pawn is also going to become a queen okay so that is abhimanyu he is winning sl narayanan's game we have not seen like it's still it's still under construction <laughs> it's still winning since a long time uh, 
but let him win so sl narayanan is winning abhimanyu is winning adiban's game what is happening still equal going towards a draw but he now has an outside passer can there be can there be any chance for this pawn to convert into a queen let's see ad is a beast he can just completely be unpredictable going to this game yes i do think kartik has won this game on time i do think that it's over for sure uh, yes there you have the result the first game kartik beats gregory kaidano wow and i am going to this change the slaying into win into win for kartik because he is now going to play nakamura in the second round maza aane wala hai bas maza aane wala hai by the way if you look at their ratings they were so close 2565 versus 2563 Okay. One. And let me also increase his points. Okay. Joy Datta, oh my God, that is a huge, huge super chat. Rupees four thousand four hundred and ninety nine. This one for chess. क्या ही वो चार शब्द है joy. Joy दिला दिया आपने. मजा आ गया. But uh, joy, who has been a very, very regular supporter, the one of the oldest supporters. Uh, famous super chatter for chess with india but thank you joy what a timing because karthik beating gregory and now we are going to see nakamura versus karthik maza aane wala hai oh today is my birthday and this is a traditional oh happy birthday joy guys yeah please wish a very happy birthday to joy uh, uh, in the chat that would be amazing oh my god joy happy birthday how old are you now <laughs> thank you for always supporting chess joy do they tell you wish you happy birthday or do they say tell you wish you joy <laughs> same as you ah okay oh that's cool we are of the same age didn't know that king g7 ठीक है सो अभिमन्यू इज विनिंग यर लेट्स गो टू दिव्या हर्षाज गेम आई थिंक आई वॉन्ट टू सी बट सम हाउ इट्स नॉट लोडिंग फॉर मी विल विल गेट देर दिव्याज गेम आई थिंक इज इंटरेस्टिंग द रुक एंड गेम सो लेट्स टिक यर फॉर अ वाइल ओ इट्स गोइंग टू अजर शी फाइंड रुक बी वन अजर फाइंड रुक बी वन बट अजर इज ओनली हैविंग वन मिनट एंड फाइव मूव सो शाल वी सी दिस फाइव मूव Harsha lost. Says Kapil. Okay, then I must update you. That's sure, na? That um, because I am updating you. So but maybe I'll check once. Yeah, he did. He did lose. so harsha actually goes to tie breaks so tomorrow we will see so because for harsha if he beats tomorrow if he wins tomorrow then he'll play magnus carlsen so karthik is going to play nakamura in the second round adiban is playing he is drawing abhimanyu is slaying actually is his game over no what about priyanka priyanka was clear oh my god Priyanka, how did everything change? She was so much better. Rookie two, rookie two, rookie one. She still has advantage. G five. The knight went back. 
she somehow brought back her knight which was not a good idea knight went to e5 and here she made a big mistake she had to take the knight here exchange off but she played queen c3 which does look like a decent move because the threat is to take here and give this check but why is this a mistake why is this move a mistake guys can you find black to play not an easy question but black to play Knight c4. No, she finds it. Knight d3 was an important move. The whole point is maybe Priyanka. I don't think she will think of this as an intermediate check because bishop b7 attacks the queen there and you lose a piece. So this is definitely not something which she would have considered. Maybe she underestimated Black's idea after this queen d3. Queen d3. This is a move definitely not easy to find. Black to play. It's not. It's not like straightforward. So what will black play? That will change the whole evaluation of the position. Here is a tough, tough. Not maybe I'll say here is an intermediate question. Yes, Nikhil. That was the whole idea which I had mentioned. Uh, that. Praying and slaying were our main ideas, but I have not been able to change it as frequently because there are too many layers there and not so easy. But I'm trying. Yes, SL SL is slaying. <laughs> Bishop B four is an idea. C five is an idea. No, C five you will lose the D five pawn here, and Bishop B four if you want to exchange then. This exchange is still fine because your queen and the knight are they are going to be a strong uh, this thing. But her opponent finds Marina gets this chance and she finds this move queen b five. Now a five is attacked and she is challenging the queen exchange. If you exchange takes this end game with double bishop is clearly better for black because the pawns here are going to be very very weak. The problem is if you don't exchange and let's say if you support this bishop here on a five, suddenly black is having double bishop with, with with and not much of threats here because the whole point is imagine once this bishop is on this diagonal and then this back rank checks, it's going to get so dangerous for white. Oh my God, can't even believe it. The whole thing. So all of it is flipped and Priyanka is in big trouble. Also, if Priyanka is able to somehow manage and hold this, then at least they go to tie breaks. But if Priyanka loses this, then she will be knocked out. So she is under big trouble here. Uh, for Nandida, who is playing against Black, Nandida also in some trouble here. In fact, big trouble here. Though she has all the pieces trying to attack on the king side, but. This bishop is once again extremely deadly here, and white can chop off this knight. Also, the bishop saves the uh, pawn here on b two. So she is. It's not easy for black here. Going to Divya's game, you know, going to Marianne's game. Marianne was winning, and she is still winning. Just some technical work to do with an exchange up and pawns on the same side of the board. But Marianne is winning, and even if she draws the game. Because she has won yesterday, she's she will go to round two here. Okay, going to Divya's game. Thirty-eight moves have happened, and the position has converted into complete equality. Rook b six, g five, rook c six, rook d three. Check. But let's not forget Divya won yesterday. So this draw means Divya is also going to round two. So that wouldn't be a problem. Um, going to Harsha's game. Harsha's game is over. Karthik has also won. Adiban is drawing his game, but with slight chances with this pawn, little pawn on a4. Abhimanyu was winning, and he has won. His opponent has resigned, so Abhimanyu also goes to round two there. And finally, S L Narayanan is winning. So the most critical game right now we are looking at is um.
Priyanka's game, uh, which is right now very very important. Uh, this game, he's one second is ah the queens are exchanged. I was scared for a moment that SL has sacrificed the queen, but no, the queens are exchanged and he's still winning. So this game, queen c3, c5 has been played here. Forty moves are not yet completed. This is the thirty seventh move, and she's thinking. Priyanka is thinking. The best idea here could be to try and find some counterplay with queen e1, keeping an eye on the e8 square, and also to make some space for the bishop to come back, if required. So she is thinking. She has two and half minutes. Can Priyanka manage to somehow make a comeback here? Even a draw would help her to stay in this and not get knocked out. Yeah, Abhimanyu won. I think a lot I have to change here. Uh, Abhimanyu, I will change Abhimanyu as one. Ah, the score is now doesn't make sense. Yeah. Okay, they do. So Abhimanyu won both the games, so he's on two, which is good for his classical rating. So Adiban and Estel Narayanan are the only two players who are playing right now in men's and in open section. And here, yeah, she does play Queen E1, at least the best um, among the rest of the moves. Uh, keeps some counterplay possibilities open there. AD game, AD game. Is he is he creating any uh, craziness there? Queen C2 has been played in AD's game and. Yeah, you can play a five, but then there will be bishop c five. This is the whole idea there, and you will have to go back. So he's thinking. Adivan is thinking. This is Mary. Mary is winning, as we saw. Divya, can she? Nandida, Nandida. Some exchanges have happened, but after the simplification, White is having an exchange up. And pawns are equal plus this bishop here, so doesn't seem much counterplay. If at all any counterplay can happen in Priyanka's game, we can see that until fortieth move, if her opponent can make a mistake. This is thirty eighth move. Queen e one has been played. Her opponent is thinking maybe bishop f five is the move she's thinking. Oh, she goes bishop a six, but the bishop on this diagonal doesn't really do anything. Is she just planning to play queen f one? Many times this is something which does happen to you. You are so in such a worse position that you just completely are you know struggling and to find equality and to find some counterplay. But sometimes you do forget about um, uh, what to say. You can have a better winning chance. By the way, Priyanka must find this move here. Important move to gain counterplay. White to play, guys. Very very important move. If she finds this, yes, then she is back in the game. But if she doesn't find this, which is very difficult to find in one and a half minutes, that's the time you all are also having. Then this will be definitely some big trouble here, because queen f one is threatened. A queen exchange is favorable for black. Right now, in this exact situation, c four, king b two, bishop d eight. No, I'm. I'm already saying no. That's not working. Come on, more alertness. Can you be more alert? Can you try to look at what is loose in Black's position? This bishop, this pawn, they are not protected for now. You can call them hanging pieces, and anything that kind of takes you towards them. Can you find anything that takes you towards them? That's the hint for you. There we have 
सौम्या अगरवाल वेल डन मंदार वरदान वेल डन जी सिक्स दैट्स हाउ यू फाइंड काउंटर प्ले मेनी टाइम्स इट्स द मूव विच इज नॉट एक्सपेक्टेड द होल आइडिया इज If you take your the queen enters in e six and these two are attacked and this can give you good counter play. But if he plays queen f one here, the whole idea is you can simply ignore this guy here and take the pawn. And if now the queens get exchanged, the difference is you have got one pawn there and that changes everything. So that is all. But she doesn't find it. of course i mean it was a very very hard move to find for sure bishop c3 played but d4 now and oh it's now even the pawn on d4 which was loose uh, has been pushed to d4 uh, so not much there not much there next queen e2 queen f1 incoming so this is going to be very very tough but let's wait 39th move we have to see until 40th move even marina marina has to make the right moves so let's see what priyanka will play she plays bishop d2 and here her opponent shouldn't delay queen e2 or queen f1 otherwise there has been a square created the knight is going to jump to b2 d3 so let's see man so many games and guys do you like to see one game for a longer time or do you like to continuously keep switching between the games How, what do you enjoy more okay her opponent has 5 minutes so we'll come back here but in the meantime any chances for nandida to fight back king at 6 uh king a2 no not so easy the only chance which she can have is like if she's able to create a passer here and that becomes stronger than one of this passer switch one game at a time switch bap re poli lena padega very difficult so bishop d2 she's still thinking here we have adiban's game a few moves have happened he played knight d4 queen e4 check he played knight f3 in a way if queen c oh they have they repeated here once twice yeah i think they are repeating knight f3 if one more time queen c2 is played then knight d4 will be a draw so maybe adiban's game is going towards a draw going to going to divya's game because after king f3 what is she doing she has 2 minutes this is hanging um but yeah she can first give a check maybe then go rook d3 no this she will hold but she is anyway going to round 2 because she only needs a draw same for mary actually mary also needs only a draw so only only people at risk of getting knocked out right now is uh, priyanka oh by the way b4 has happened here uh and she has allowed cb3 cb3 but she is creating a passer for herself that, so that's a good move so only person who is in danger of uh, to nandida and priyanka both are in danger of getting knocked out right now Anirudh asks, "What do you think? Who will go the who will go farthest? I think um, one of the young guns. I think I have been saying this. Mary has accepted the draw. Says Kapil. Ah, okay, she has. Ah. Huh? Oh yeah, Mary's game has ended in draw. Adiban's game has also ended in a draw. So they go to tie break." Divya is playing right now. So right now three games are going on. Divya is playing. I think Priyanka is fighting. What did she play? Bishop b seven. Oh, her opponent did not go queen e two or queen f one. 
सो प्रियंका इज बैक इन द गेम बिशप बी सेवन बट शी इज बैक ओनली इफ शी इज एबल टू फाइंड आईदर जी सिक्स और नाइट बी टू नो बट दिस डज गिव सम चांसेस आई एम वेरी सरप्राइज दैट वाई हर अपोनेंट हु एक्चुअली वेन बिशप ए सिक्स विद द होल आइडिया डिड नॉट फॉलो अप विद द प्लान शी इज गोइंग बिशप बी सेवन मोस्ट प्रॉबली टू सेफ गार्ड यूर मे बी शी लाइक्स शी थिंग्स दैट कीपिंग द क्वींस ऑन द बोर्ड इज बेटर फॉर हर बट वेरी सरप्राइजिंग वेरी वेरी सरप्राइजिंग कैन प्रियंका फाइंड आई दर नाइट बी टू और जी सिक्स दे आर द स्ट्रॉन्गेस्ट मूव यर हेलो दीपंकर ओके लेट मी अपडेट द रिजल्ट बाय द वे इफ एस एल्स गेम इज ओवर प्लीज लेट मी नो अधिबान्स गेम इज ओवर दैट इज दैट नाउ टेक्स हिम टू वन पॉइंट मेरीज गेम इज ऑल्सो ओवर इट्स अ क्वालिफाई नहीं राउंड टू शैल आई राइट टू राउंड टू टू राउंड टू नो ड्रॉ वॉट शुड आई राइट ओनली ड्रॉ मे बी आई राइट ओनली ड्रॉ but we will understand that adiban also draw right adiban tie break all right tie break oh even uh, harsha i will write tie break so that everybody will understand tomorrow who all who all are playing tie breaks सो हर्षा टाई ब्रेक अधिबान टाई ब्रेक अभिमन्यु वन एस एल इज प्लेइंग दिव्या दिव्या वन वॉट इज द आइडिया ऑफ जी सिक्स द आइडिया ऑफ जी सिक्स इज टू डिफ्लेक्ट दिस गाय यर फॉर फ्रॉम गेटिंग द स्क्वेर ऑन ई सिक्स टू फाइंड सम काउंटर प्ले दिस वॉज स्ट्रॉगर ऑफ यू मूव अर्लियर वेन द पॉन वॉज ऑन डी फाइव but uh, that is the idea of g6 the other idea she can do is to go knight b2 uh, because now she has nice square for her knight here so b knight b2 and if bishop takes f3 she definitely is losing a pawn but knight c4 knight jumps in and the king can get weak so that's the whole point because imagine you play a move like bishop b bishop c7 suddenly white is winning i mean just this one move little difference and white is winning because white queen gets entry with a tempo another move you have to spend here and you capture this pawn like if you lose g7 then g pawn is very strong and suddenly the queen cannot even jump in here the king looks safe so these are all the ideas right now so bishop b7 so knight b2 or g6 will be good but priyanka's time is not getting updated i hope she is not uh, i hope her time is under control and i hope that this is only stuck for now but nothing to do with time sl1 that's the update sl has won yes sl narayanan has won and he moves to round 2 so here we are right now i'll keep this game on while i change sl's uh, status one so sl also won both the games which is good for his classical rating uh for divya also i think i'll write one no she, sorry her game is going on so for mary actually it's not a draw for mary she has moved to round 2 so that means she has also won uh, i'll change the score to 1 and 1/2 
actually i think uh, guys do you think this system of me updating the scores i don't like this it cannot take so much time I, the, it has to be better there has to be some better easier way can you give any suggestions how to or maybe simply pinning a comment yeah but this is very odd uh, what to say attention consuming i don't mind i have to stay distracted yeah mary also i updated magnus will play from round 2 in fact if harsha beats uh, his opponent tomorrow then magnus he will play magnus priyanka 40 moves done oh okay Go acha this was the 40th move so that means it's a good thing that priyanka actually has time to find either of the move nasir says thoda mehnat chalta hai mehnat chalta hai re but like how we invent machinery you know to make certain things easier वैसे कुछ भी है कि मैं इधर बस बैठी रहूं और अपने आप स्कोर अपडेट हो जाएगा तो बढ़िया हो जाएगा ओके मे बी द बार इज लाइक दैट लेट मी जस्ट चेक इफ इट इज अपडेटिंग एंड नोप्स not even that nobody is wanting me to relax on the chair just write the correct game result the total score can indicate whether they go to tie break instead of resizing and moving text after changing say playing to one use spaces before the w of one to get one to the center oh that's even uh, even difficult अभी दया को काम पर <laughs> वो भी कैसे करेगा ना पर स्ट्रीम तो मैं हैंडल कर रही हूँ दैट्स द पॉइंट हा वो कर सकता है सो वी हैव दिस थंबनेल ऑन द राइट मे बी वील हैव स्कोर्स ओवर देयर व्हिच कैन बी अपडेटेड दैट्स अ गुड आइडिया बट स्टिल देयर हैज टू बी इजियर वे let me think maybe if all the text was for me in one layer then it's fine but when there are at least 9 into 2 18 18 it's like 18 papers which i have to find beech mein kaun sa wala hai so that's the problem well i will figure that out guys but here priyanka is thinking i think the time is back like maybe the time is back let we see what's happening with divya because she is still for her rating maybe she will try to convert this in some way she'll try to fight but this is also stuck 41st move king f3 has been played uh, so either divya is thinking or this game has ended in a draw i'm not sure if somebody can confirm that would be great uh, this game where nandita nandita is trying to fight she's gone king g6 though she is lost but i do think that um if firstly if nandita can create some complication and only needs a draw here at least to go to tie break so it may not be impossible that her opponent can make a mistake or some weak moves so i am not discarding this completely for sure i am not discarding this completely so for open section we have two games tomorrow for tie break harsha and adiban and both if they manage to win tomorrow Adiban will play Daniel Dubow in round two, and Harsha will play uh, Magnus Carlsen in round two. So that will be very very exciting to see tomorrow. And for Divya, uh, I have to check her opponent tomorrow, but I think it would be lower rate. No, I'm not sure. Ah, uh, Priyanka, if she wins, then she will play Humpy, but it is not easy right now for her. king g6 has been played this bishop is under attack 40 moves are done guys priyanka played f4 acha oh yes okay let's try to understand how this move is so she as we were discussing she had to make either of this move so she has gone f4 right now what she has done is save this pawn for now uh here marino 
सॉरी मरीना मरीना हैज टू मरीना हैज सम इंटरेस्टिंग ऑप्शन विद ब्लैक एंड दे आर नॉट वेरी टफ लेट से सी फोर क्वाइट नेचुरल या देर इज अ पिन यू आर जस्ट एडवांसिंग यूर पॉन इट्स ऑल्सो वीक यू आर इन अ वे ऑल्सो ओपनिंग दिस डायगनल यू आर थ्रेटनिंग सी थ्री सो सी फोर इज वेरी नेचुरल आई थिंक गाइज एनीबडी वुड प्ले सी फोर सो आई एम सी ऑल्सो डी थ्री आइडियाज दिस इज द रीजन आई थिंक एफ फोर लुक्स वेरी वेरी ट्रिकी एंड आई डोंट नो हाउ हाउ डिफिकल्ट practically it is to you know face this c4 move looks very scary see now you don't have time to go knight b2 also there is c3 and imagine if black gets the pawn on c3 what about this knight cannot come here cannot come here it's it's a trap knight कपिल इज सेंग टेंशन मत लो परसों से एनी वे सागर को ही करना है हाँ दैट्स गुड लाइक वो करेगा एंड देन आई कैन रीड द चैट दैट कुड बी गुड इफ दिव्या विंस शी विल प्ले हो एंग थैन गॉड इट या दिव्या जीती क्या दिव्या अभी तक नहीं जीती है हर गेम इज गोइंग ऑन हर अपोनेंट इज प्लेड किंग एफ थ्री एंड दिस पॉन इज अटैक लेट से शी ट्राइज टू गो रूक डी टू सी सिक्स Yeah, it would go towards a draw. It would go towards a draw. But draw means she will be winning, guys. By the way, day after tomorrow, we will have all the players. Uh, you know, in round two, those will be. Let me just quickly show you those players in the photo which right now I have covered. I am removing the bars, and you can see Vaishali, Prag in the thumbnail. You can see the bottom row. वैशाली प्राग विदित गुकेश अर्जुन निहाल हम्पी एंड हरिका दे विल बी देर फ्रॉम राउंड टू सो डोंट मिस दैट एंड टुमोरो टाइ ब्रेक इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी वेरी एक्साइटिंग बाय द वे हाउ डू यू लाइक दिस एनिमेशन लाइक which happens and then the screen seeing changes g6 from white when okay now you are you are asking if now g6 from white now the question is are you going to get as much compensation there with queen e6 not sure some i mean i i think eventually you have to play g6 because Either you have to bring back your knight. But look, they go now. As we were talking about college ka katta, don't you think this knight is exactly sitting on this college ka katta? How many of you love sitting on college ka katta? How many of you, or used to in your college days? Reminds me of a. poem which uh, sagar had written it was katta now mix i guess on his blog when he was in college <laughs> ajay says i love it <laughs> katte pe baithne prasad says not me yash is asking kya unam says mast hai acha acha mast hai transition वही मैं बोली ये नाइट कैसे मस्त है मस्त है ट्रांजिशन या बहुत बढ़िया बनाया अभी दे ने इफ द नाइट ऑन सी फोर देन आई लव इट बट देर इज नो इफ बिकॉज इट इज ऑन ए फोर एंड इट कैन नॉट गो टू C4. If black goes C4, so F4 and Brunello is thinking. Let's go to Divya's game. If any moves have happened, no. Let's go here because here they are making a little quick moves. King G6, Bishop C3 has been played. Mayur says sad blunder on 38 move after very well fought game by Tran Tran two of Japan. 
Oh. Oh, by the way, also, what are the results for our uh, neighboring country players there? Oh, she plays king f5. By the way, Nandida is slowly getting the king. And there is this weakness there, f pawn. So, we never know. In fact, because if she wins this pawn there, okay, it can get dangerous. So, I have some hopes from Nandida. I think she will be able to create some complications and even a draw would take her to tie break. There it is. Slowly, some weak moves can get dangerous for white. King e4. I'm sure she will play king e4. Acha, who is it? CM Tran Than 2 of Japan versus 2600 GM Paravyan. He is Japan's first ever representative at the World Cup. Sicilian Khan game. Oh, are kya baat hai? Japan's first ever. Oh, really? That's a big news for Japan. Very nice. Amazing. I think more and more such countries are going to get this, uh, you know, first timers for World Cup because we saw in Olympia also how many countries are so interestingly participating and, you know, this creates such an interest once, you know, your team is representing Olympia. I believe it definitely helps. Indirect effect is huge on chess. So King F2. It's heading towards f4. Yeah, a move has happened here. She did not play c4. Whoa, she did not play c4. She has played bishop d5. Firstly, taking out these ideas of g6 and queen e6. And secondly, maybe intending c4. But now, now can you go knight b2? At least now you can start with this journey of knight b2. There is another way also to stop c4 by keeping an eye on d4. But I still think knight b2, ab b isko wapas leke aao ho gaye katte pe kaam. Just chalo abhi padai karne ko. Knight b2, time for it to come back. What about Divya? Okay, Divya has made a move. Divya has thought and oh, she's down to 13 minutes. So, matlab... She was thinking for such a long time. She's gone rook d2 because I think though a draw takes her to the next round, the rating difference is almost 400 points. That would, how many points Divya will lose guys if she draws this game? I think that is what she's just trying to see what would be the best way for her still. Still having hopes there. The Pankar commentary will be going on, so that won't be possible, but all the best. Yeah, Nandida fighting back. So, how many points, guys? A question to you. Oh, she will lose. Oh, she plays f5. Priyanka plays f5. And now she is going for a very, like, g6 and all ideas, but it's going to be very slow. c4 is very, very difficult to face. I don't think Brunello Marina will miss it. What about Priyanka? Oh, she has got king e4 and her opponent plays b4. Because this is important to start. Bot hi zaruri hai. Now if you play king f3, she will defend a pawn with bishop d4. Uh, you cannot attack it, yeah? You cannot attack it immediately and... For you, one, then you have to move the bishop somewhere, then two, one, two, three, four. Okay, long time. This is a little faster. Okay, let's see. But still, let's have some hopes here. Going back to this game after f5, Marino is thinking and Divya's opponent after rook d2, what can she do? 
what can she do if she plays c6 with the idea of c7 that sounds like it because divya will eventually have to play rook c2 maybe uh, give up this pawn take this pawn and i think divya will still try with this three versus two pawns but as we know this is a book draw Tanmaya asks, Samrita, will you be traveling to Tata Steel India this year? Most probably, but right now I just plan things as they come a little closer. I I think what has uh, changed for me in the past few months is like I don't. I was an extreme planner, so I have now moved to not being an extreme planner. You know, nauseated of planning. so that's the change where it just going by the flow has it happened to any people like like what has hap what happened to me nauseated by planning yeah yeah it felt like uh, time is controlling every like everything is like this at that time if it ye time pe ye hai ye karna hi hai then uh, you just want you know once you this i am a person if i decide something if i want to do something then i have to do it like i i kind of bring that discipline it's not like i am like okay theek hai chal baad mein i don't procrastinate much so that's why i guess the planning got on to me so i'm going in sagar shoes in a way <laughs> that doesn't tire you i think because when you're not a extreme planner what happens is you are able to keep your creativity and your uh, uh spontaneity which which is very important to make you feel energetic in a way tony dairy says amrita ji how to choose between watching you and sagar bhai's commentary at the same time both of you are brilliant <laughs> it's simple uh, you have to keep you have to watch that also because that's more global perspective so you get to know what's happening there you get to see oh by the way i forgot to show you something ha huh? i couldn't make the sound happen but shahid uh, you know today would have shot, was going to shoot some um, initial moments and we would have got to see them today like we are seeing how adiban's game ended in a draw or kartik won but we could have actually got the footage here so i would i'll try to do that tomorrow for sure so yeah here you get indian perspective so that's the thing and thagar will be back so from second round he will be here i believe though i have not checked when he is traveling so i don't know if he's in flight on which day that's something i have to ask him change mary to tie break oh her game is over one second by the way her opponent after f5 has played c4 hmm now the only the only chance in this game which can happen is if in some way there is a blunder and the queen and knight come together because the king is weak that's the only chance so i'm not saying that zero chance here in fact still better chances than a game like this because in this scenario a blunder can actually flip whereas in such a scenario it's very hard so so yeah c4 has played by marino and uh, why mary is going to tie break mary won yesterday sorry mary won yesterday's game so today it's a draw so that means she has won I don't think it's a tie break. Mm. 
Just which books are you reading currently? What's the chess books? Chess books, which are you reading? Or which is the book which you would really also like to read? A chess book, a wish list book. Nightbot is dropping links. Uh, chat, subscribe to Chess with India Clips channel. Then follow Chess with India on Instagram. <laughs> Sadi Kul says, what is the best position which he sir achieved in World Cup? He won the World Cup, no? I mean, he won. Yeah, and then he won. Uh, he qualified to candidates. Twiddler versus Abhimanyu will be nice to watch. Yes, Akash. Yeah, actually those who have won, um, Abhimanyu will play with Swiddler in the next round. Karthik will play with Nakamura. Maybe I should have written, instead of one, I should have written R2 Nakamura, their opponent's name. Narayanan will, I think, still face a lower rated. Santosh Kumar says, Yusupov series absolutely loved that books, but don't get time to finish it fully. Oh yeah, that is an amazing one because what he has done is to, actually that was a more like he used to have this uh, coaching sessions with his students and they kind of, that the whole material which he was using for training, his students were doing so well that kind of packed it in a way where it's a sure shot thing that you will improve he gave a method uh one book in one month and in one year to do those 10 books almost a year or so and whoever have done that as a method very sincerely and seriously have really got great benefits out of that so yeah nice nice one santosh How to find brilliant moves. <laughs> if firstly, I actually, how to find that in this position there is a brilliant move. So for that, you need to develop your understanding. That's, that's the key thing. Here says, why have you not traveled with Sagarbhai? Yeah, clips. I think I also got, while traveling, I think I took a break from mobile also in some way. S social media and everything. Dark says, my prediction is that either Gukesh or Prague will make it to the top four. Guys, what do you think? Do you think, uh, who do you think if anybody reaches finals, who will it be? Or, chalo, let's say semi-finals and finals me. Gukesh, Gukesh. Deepankar says, West Technic. Oh yeah, Chess Tactics from Scratch is an amazing book. Amazing book. I think it's out of stock, but I think we are getting a big, big, very big, uh, what to say, palette of books. Um, should reach. It's a very, of course, it comes by sea, so it takes some time, but it's going to be a lot of books and make sure that the best sellers are something which you guys do not miss otherwise many of you keep asking on the chat and then that sold out because it's not possible to uh, you know get those books so easily 
from foreign countries. What about Queen F2 in Priyanka's game? You mean here, if you are saying Queen F2, trying to attack this guy here? Fair question. I think even if I uh, don't do something beautiful, I, I like let's say you start with the capture checks, captures and threats. That's what we say. In that sense, if you look at the candidate move as C takes B3 as one, because that that first gives a doubt. Ki can you take, take, take and then win this knight? So let's say C takes B3, A takes B3, Bishop takes B3, but C takes B3, Queen takes B3, there is knight B2 and the knight is saved. You don't have queen D1. So this is not working. But this had to be considered here. Another thing is, yes, you do have d3 deflecting the pawn and all of these threats. So that's there. So maybe you will start calculating with c takes b3. But in return, you have given up on the square and bishop e4 check. Ah, that looks dangerous. So that's already c takes b3 is already almost winning for black. If not, then even if you consider a threat like c3 attacking this bishop, because where can this bishop go? If you go to f4, then once again, uh, taking and taking and the queen entering and the mating nets here are going to be too much. So c4 here, I think it's, no, not giving any, uh, any possibilities very max to max maybe queen f1 because you don't want c takes b3 i think this could be a possibility if you just need to stay in some game maybe let's try to see g6 right now where c takes b3 a takes b3 and if brunello gets d3 with the idea of taking here maybe if we try to look at this possibility but here the only difference is this is saved. So yeah, D takes C2. You cannot take. No, this is just too complicated. Yeah, because no, this is not giving anything else. So Queen F1, I think, is a natural move which will at least help you to be in the game for a while more. What about this game? King F3 happened. She played Bishop D4 and now Bishop D1 stopping B5. So that's a good thing what Nandita has at least done for now. And she is now ready to push this pawn, the f pawn. And uh, if the bishop is able to shift to h4, attack f2, okay, this is still something. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Ajay is saying, Sagar by killing it in commentary. So nice to see him there. Are, kya baat hai? Second round day after tomorrow hai na. Kal hai tie breaks. Guys, do not forget. There is tie break tomorrow. Santosh Kumar says, Ma'am suggest good book for studying D4 opening in detail for less than 1500 elo. D4 in detail. And less than 1500. <laughs> That's not a very easy question there. But what I can also suggest is um, chess. There's a book, Chess Structures. That has a few, uh, wait a second. That's by, this is a book, Chess Structures. Mm, over here, that's, that has this, if you look at this, it's saying the chapters are like, wait, let me just show, family, oops, family, one, D4, F5, the Isolani, the Hanging Pawns, the Karokan structure, the Slav formation, the Karlsbad variation, Stonewall, Grunfeld, Nidov. And you can see this is all KID. So you can see the whole thing is opening. The whole chapter names are opening. But a beautiful thing, like let's say if you see I have my pages are also torn. I've used this book extensively. Let's say if you open this page, random page I've opened and it says KID type 3. I've opened a page where it is Olivier versus Anish Giri. Kiska ka game aa ke dekho. Anish Giri. <laughs> Jahan bhi we find, try to find any reference. Anish Giri is always there. Yeah, first it says learning objective. 
and then it says by contrast with the previous game fragment this game teaches us how black may create kingside counterplay by fighting for the e4 square expanding on the kingside and eventually achieving g5 to g4 break and then they show the game and it's nice it's very nice because every game you are able to you know summarize and remember it well then they have this final remarks things to remember some patterns of the structures so i definitely um, recommend this book like suppose it's french type one structure is there you can see i have underlined a few things like white pawn cha white pawn chain with the typical f6 break is what black challenges with uh, white plans black plans so it's more about the pawn structure through pawn structure you learn opening which is uh, i think more long term for understanding opening and eventually the uh, whole plan because pawn structure is the thing which gives you the plans so i would recommend that dark hustler says i think beginners are making a mistake if they are playing blitz more often yeah that's what we will think right now um but you know the whole young generation has actually come up with playing blitz in some way or the other so the way they are able to you know like how maybe now the people who are in 80s will say this new generation is too much technological and digital and too much mobile they are making a mistake they are not living their life <laughs> which is true which is true but uh it's also the way how you use technology right at the end of it so similarly it's the way you play the blitz imagine you play 10 blitz games you go back home you you remember all the games these play you remember all the games you kind of check every opening and all of it then who knows queeny to for priyanka is what parth is asking yes santosh do check it out divya's game c6 h5 ओके okay, बहुत कुछ हो रहा है दिव्याज ओपोनेंट हैज प्लेड थोड़ा थोड़ा लेट्स लेट्स मूव बिकॉज नाउ दे आर आल्सो गेटिंग अंडर टाइम प्रेशर सो रुक डी टू ईयर वाज प्लेड सी सिक्स प्लेड बाय दिव्याज ओपोनेंट एंड दिव्याज इज नो आई एम नॉट गोइंग फॉर एन इजी ड्रॉ लेट मी जस्ट ट्राई टू डिले इट सो एच एंड नाउ हर अपोनेंट प्लेज सी सेवन ऑब्वियसली शी इज गोइंग टू क्वीन दिस इज अ पोजिशन मस्ट to get the rook on the c file either now or by after giving a check but you need to give her a pawn in order to win this pawn so also with rook c to rook d5 you cannot simply take this if you want to have any hope because you lose the f5 pawn so that's the reason you might first attack this guy there and then try to win this pawn maybe even add an intermezzo check if you get so that the king is pushed back and then try to win this pawn so so let's see if divya's opponent is going to make any weak moves or not uh, or she will be able to hold this in this game uh, yes priyanka has played queen f1 uh, at least that helps her to stay a little bit more in the game and in this game a few moves have happened king c3 she did go f5 here trying to create counter play this is in nandita's game it is yes she has a uh, minus position but if somehow she is able to hold this then it will go to tie break so bishop d6 she is gone back by actually aiming at f4 and g3 creating that passer 14 minutes time wise actually they don't have any advantage if if let's say tianki had very less time then this would have really created some pressure on her but she has decent amount of time so bishop d6 b5 and this is a good thing what she is doing not delaying pushing the pawn not going slow very important because it's reaching b7 and constantly you will have to be alert for the pawn one piece is alert for the pawn bishop e6 check now when the king will move of course you cannot stop the pawn reaching b6 at least max to max for b7 you have bishop d5 uh so next move for sure she is going to play b4 
Did Pri Priyanka's opponent make a move? No, not yet. For Queen F, she's still thinking. And Divya's opponent has played. No, Divya has played Rook C two right now. So let's see. Let's see. Ah, uh, well, if Divya is able to beat her in this Rook N game, it would be epic. It would be crazy. I I doubt. I I really doubt. But a lot of things matter towards the end of the game. Energy matters, especially energy. Rook D five. Yes, and Nightbot is saying check out chess ranga to improve your chess, and that is true because a lot of things are being improved, guys, by our tech guy, and it's becoming more and more beautiful. We also have a beautiful logo, but yeah, later we'll talk about it. Fast pawn always push. <laughs> What's the time for tomorrow? Same. It's the same timing. I think when it's such a long event, they'll not change the timing because you know a player kind of gets accustomed to one timing. So it's generally only the last round where the timing is different. King e six. Yeah, here she will go king e six, or maybe I first give a check and then also go king e six so that with king e six there is no rook d three. Two may not matter. Can you go rook d three here or is it any? Yeah, I think Divya will definitely try because come on, you have the three pawns against such a double pawn. There are practical chances in this position. Sagar is in Baku, and he is the commentator uh, for FIDE for the first round, which has three games. So yeah, King E six or Rook C three from Divya. Shreyan says, if King E six, then Rook D eight, and if Rook C seven, then Rook H eight, and you are winning this pawn. Which has absolute point here, Shreyans, that I cannot defend a pawn, but yeah, you cannot go king e two. You will lose rook g three, and you will go king f three. So okay, nothing much here, yeah. Directly losing a pawn. Well spotted there. Nothing can be done. So Divya's game is ending in a draw. Yes, her opponent actually finds Rook D eight. She did play well with Divya, yeah, with so much elo difference, four hundred points down, and with White, still it's not easy to hold Divya. So very very uh, well played by Azar Uteri. M S is what Malaysia or what? So that says I wish Fidea had organized at least one day of Vishy and Sagar commentary do in this tournament. That would have been a treat for so many of us. <laughs> I think they did the uh, commentary in Tata Steel. It was uh, Vishy did join for such a long time. It was very nice. Oh yeah, she has played Rook H8. So this is going towards the draw. Let's uh, let's try to see if anything is happening here. Oh lot. Oh some moves. Okay, we have missed. No, that was my analysis. It seems. Sorry, that was my analysis. Here she has played bishop e four, and the threat is guys. C takes b three, a takes b three, and then what is black? Oops, sorry. What a blunder by me. C takes b three is a blunder by me. What did I miss, guys? What did I miss when I was telling you this move? What's your predicted podium finished finishes? Can I tell you uh, what I would wish for? Actually, it's difficult because out of Prague, Gokesh, Arjun, and Nehal, rating wise, Prague, Gokesh, Arjun. <laughs> Sorry, Gokesh, Prague, Arjun. Rating wise, top three. Imagine all of them. Come in top three. Crazy! That would be epic. 
then in candidates we'll have three indians okay that's too dream too much of a dream there but why not when you can dream dream about it yeah i did miss the queen hanging queen b5 <laughs> that's true that's true so not this is not a pin i mean this is not hanging right now but um maybe the threat could be d3 you don't need to do anything elegant as of now so knight b2 because c3 is no more a fork so that could be it so bishop e4 priyanka is thinking she has five minutes and this time there is no increment so what about what about uh, this game okay bishop e6 check king went to c3 f4 she has got these pawns there rook a1 maybe here she will play g3 and you will of course have to take here take here is there any possibility because let's say if you go b6 but before b6 there is a good move for white guys can you find a good move for white here a good move for white white to play Kumar says, Amrita, I saw your hoodie Sagar wearing while playing with Sama in Global Chess League. Ah, was he wearing it? Wow, nice. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Harmony says, Amrita, hi Amrita, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing excellent harmony. I'm in harmony. <laughs> harmony is. If their time runs out, is there another increment? No, Krish. This is the final... Uh, Sudden death is over and now there is no extra time. So if the players land in 30 seconds, that's it. That is their increment. 30 seconds per move. Bishop f2, bishop f2, rook. Uh, bishop f2, kaise yaar? Bishop f2, koi uh, notation ka ye bhi nahi lag raha hai. Problem. <laughs> rook a6. Yeah, rook a6. You can see the double attack there. So rook a6 is a good move. So if g3, after rook a1, she is thinking, Nandida is thinking, Nandida needs a draw, okay, in order to kind of go into the tie breaks. But her opponent is not, you know, giving any chance. Tianki from China is just playing it very, very solidly. Rook has now gone to a7. Sir, this rook is so irritating, these bishops, yeah? Double bishops. Constantly giving these kind of threats. And black is not getting much time there. Also, even if black gets g3, takes, takes, g2. At the end of it, ah, you can, rook versus bishop could be a possibility. I still feel some chances could be there. Let's see. A little hopeful there. Maybe more biased, but a little more hopeful there. After bishop e4, Priyanka has come down to 2 minutes 28 seconds. She's still thinking. She's still thinking. Is she thinking of creating some craziness here with f6? f6. Because if g6 there, oh look, there is a possibility. If g6 there, then you have fixed this guy here. And nothing immediate happening here. So knight b2 now. Because there is a pin. So knight b2 is threatening to win the pawn on c4. So f6 looks like a good idea. And f6 is also quite natural. Because f5 is attack. For f6 black will have to take here. G takes f6 will be must. So that if you, now you play g f6. The, the big blow coming up here. Black to play. Okay wow. This alertness, black to play, guys. Why it is working out now and why it was not working at that point of time is an important question. Yes, arre, kya baat hai? Kya baat hai? Kya baat hai? Sab alert hai. Mujhe laga sab so gaya hai, yaar. 
नौ बज गए सबका खाना वाना हो गया एंड एवरी वन एवरी वन इज स्लीपिंग दैट्स वॉट आई थॉट बट अमेजिंग शनमुखा यू हैड ऑलरेडी आई थिंक रिटर्न इट आई हैड नॉट सीन इट आकाश यस दैट्स राइट किंग ब्रेकर श्रेयांश वेल डन बिशप सी टू देर कम्स दिस ब्लो बिकॉज इफ यू टेक किंग टेक सी टू देन वेर देर इज अ पिन there is also a discovered attack and you lose the queen that was the whole point so bishop c2 here would mean it's just completely winning but my question is then why for f6 bishop c2 is not working why for f6 this is not the best idea because if i play king c2 if you still give this discovered check guys what is the next move here in this position white should play what should white play here only one right move to still uh, be you know having it in a fighting position see exactly like what feels very natural is a takes b3 right and then queen takes f1 and then you will say f takes g7 and the, there is a queen and you cannot stop it though you can queen f5 check queen g6 is happening there already uh, and you can stop it but a b3 a that's the reason not a b3 that's the reason not even king f1 there is a check there so it it is not so difficult because you are doing it by the process of elimination what is process of elimination you first consider the simple candidate moves available to you your a b 3 king b 2 and king b 1 are the three candidate moves even king c 1 for that matter or king d 1 but wherever the king goes here there is a check so you eliminate those options then for a b 3 you when you realize this check and it stops the queen you eliminate that option and the only move which remains is yes king b2 that's the only move because now you see if queen f1 f takes g7 now this is what a surprise the queen unstoppable you you cannot stop this but still my question is dude this king is so weak can i not just take here and is there no mate or anything here but wait there is a check for me queen and a check and then i collect this pawn and do not forget i do have an extra piece so it's not going to be so easy she has played f6 so a bit of chance i'm sure like at this moment with 12 minutes you're not going to miss it you are did she play bishop c2 oh my god oh my god she has given a chance to priyanka this is what we were analyzing what a crazy moment it was important that she first take gf6 and gf6 and then bishop c2 simply winning of course of course priyanka needed to play knight b2 here to stay in the game somehow it it still had some complications but after gf6 sorry she had found king b2 oh man amazing this is what we were analyzing i never even thought this is going to happen on the board but what a position king b2 some chances she is back in the game some chances i'm not saying this is all over because instead of queen takes f1 queen takes a4 can be played but and you are still priyanka will need to find the next move because so many tempting possibilities not easy white to play guys can you find it because when you were finding it last time i think even priyanka is able to find it so can you find it white to play this is unbelievable anything can happen anything i mean i almost thought it's over but no it's not over until it's over yes it's still very very tough because it's like every every single moment you have to find the most accurate move that kind of position 
generally they are not easy but who knows at least some chance here some chance yes an intermezzo check is important there uh, queen f3 check and when the king moves to b8 oh my god it has nothing to do with fg7 but in fact in fact over here also nothing to do with queen b3 because if you play queen b3 queen b3 with whatever you take then takes takes and later you are going to lose this you are going to lose this pawn after bishop g5 the king will come in and you have a bad bishop so that's not going to work for you but the reason but the reason this move was important is that now a b3 and if you give queen a3 check i can go king b1 and this is protected so that is actually even actually known not king b1 king c2 i have to play oh this is complicated wait i need to understand it better myself i need to understand it better myself we are at this position guys so firstly her opponent must take queen a4 because if she plays queen f1 then after fg7 this is going to be uh, either equal or better chances for white with a piece up okay so this is number 1 we discard queen f1 the next is after queen a4 the question is if fg7 there is a checkmate in two moves you cannot go here you go here and that's a checkmate so that is the reason you cannot play fg7 so you give a check after king goes here once again the same thing you cannot play fg7 there is check and mate so that's the reason you need to capture the b3 pawn now if you capture with the queen then it takes you to a bishop end game where your all the pawns are on dark square and black has a dark square bishop which is in his favor that's the reason by the method of elimination once again once again a takes b3 is a forced move so this is nothing but it is only trying to stay by eliminating you know this whole thing is about eliminating what can be done and you are finding the only moves this is all like a combination of forcing moves queen a3 check will be given and once again these are the two moves king c2 and black is having advantage but with a great chance for white to you know hold this position because um, of some weaknesses and some perpetual ideas there okay that's cool oh she plays queen f1 so not even much problem of knight uh, queen takes a4 and all those complications wow can priyanka actually beat her opponent that is also possibility cool 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 that is cool that is cool this is an important game whether priyanka will stay in tie break or get knocked out that is whole thing which is going on by the way divya deshmukh is also playing uh, they have reached somehow this position it's completely equal according to the computer but uh, rook e8 was the last move the king is cut off this is protected maybe divya is threatening rook f3 uh, doesn't seem likely that divya will win but of course she will try till the end and in this game the position has been reached bishop b8 takes takes oops let me put the engine on for you guys g2 a gaya hai g2 rook f7 check and we are here at this position uh, but controlled um, not so sure a draw here also will take nandita to tie break but this is the most interesting game which is going on b takes a2 g8 queen by priyanka king goes to b7 and king a2 assessment is dead equal when the position is so uh, the material imbalance is so high and the assessment is dead equal there are only two possibilities one is that there is either perpetual and the other one is that there are these long complicated variations which end in perpetual <laughs> so that's the only two possibilities so we will see is there any immediate perpetual here only check for black is queen c4 
attacking this guy here oh here you have to find the right move but isn't it forced because you if you go king a1 there is queen a4 with a check you can't go here so you have only two moves king b2 and king b1 one of them is a mistake guys let me ask you which move is a mistake or let me ask me ask you which move is the right move to play out of king b2 and king b1 only one move is the right move the other move is lost so much like minus 58 that's how much it is lost so let me know which move yeah maybe you can uh, which move to player Oh, by the way, look at our subscriber count. It's moved to 678. It was stuck there. I have to keep pressing that. I keep forgetting. I think most, most of you have uh, been confused about which move. So 50% of you are, are wrong. Yes. So if basically most of you think king b2 is the right move. And also the reason is because it controls queen b3. But that's wrong. Queen King B1 is the right move. Very, very tough. Actually, very, very tough. This is because you are allowing Queen B3 check and the knight is coming back to B2 and you have saved everything. As we saw, there is no Queen D1, there is no Queen D3, there is no check position, which means now the Queen is saying, Bas, abhi ek bar mein power mein aa gai, to koi nahi rok sakta hai. That's but for queen c4, if you go king b2, the problem, the reason why this is lost is, idea is the same. It's all about the knight. Actually, not even in this way. Queen b5 check. Now you will ask, why not to take queen takes a4? You will ask this. Yes, you do recover a piece, but I take queen takes f7 and this pawn is a passer. So... It will end in a draw because of perpetual check as we are talking about. But if I go queen c4 check, king b2, queen b5. Now why is this lost is the big question. This is the big question. Where should I take my king? King c2 means queen a4 check. King a2 or king a1 means queen a4 check. So all those are eliminated. Only square is king c1 because you cannot go king b1. So king c1 is the only move. Ah, and here, here black to play. Two moves are winning, but one is like just over, like over at this moment. Black to play. Can you find it? Oh, by the way, it's happening on the board. Queen c4 check had been given and she finds king b1. Important. My goodness, she'll not have much time, but this is also very, very critical position. Everybody is thinking bishop a3 and yes, though bishop a3 is winning uh, king d1 and this check is there. But this is queen b3 is just over because, yeah, because of this mating idea. But yes, both of them are working. So queen c, king b1 is current situation now. Very important that she must stay alert. Ah, she's not gone king b2. Okay, then not a problem. So now if queen b5 check, you have knight b2. And you are actually winning with a piece up. Wow. Must take here. Okay, if queen d3 check, is there a perpetual? Once again, you need to make sure where to take the king. Oh, this is so tough. How much time is she having? She is having four minutes. If queen d3 check, guys, where are you taking your king? I thought, like, obviously, right? Are king... A2 aega, to ye marega. You can't do that. Then I thought, ye mar rahe, king c1. But again, once again, that's not going to work. For all of you, you might think, oh, are bishop a3 check a rahe. But no, bishop a3 is not a problem. The king goes to d1 and you might think, acha, there is a pin. So bishop b4 a rahe. 
बट दैट इज ऑल्सो नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज क्वीन एफ सेवन चेक आ रहा है किंग इधर भी जाएगा क्वीन इधर आके इट्स डिफेंडिंग सो दैट्स ऑल्सो नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम सो वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम यूर फॉर किंग सी वन वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम हाउ इज ब्लैक विनिंग नो दिस आइडिया आई हैड टोल्ड यू इन सम कैलकुलेशन बट हाउ इज ब्लैक विनिंग दिस इज समथिंग ये माइंड में जाना बहुत जरूरी है वी हैव रीच दिस पोजिशन Priyanka needs to make sure that she plays king a one. For king c one, it would be dead lost because of because of. Can you find black to play? Not easy. Black to play, not easy. किसी को भी नहीं आ रहा है देखो दैट इज द रीजन दिस कैन बी इजीली मिस्ड दैट इज द रीजन की इंसी वन लुक सो नेचुरल दैट शी हैड फोर मिनट्स इफ शी गोज डाउन टू थर्टी सेकेंड इट्स जस्ट अ नेचुरल मूव टू प्ले इट्स अ हैंड मूव यस आरव योकेश एंड डेबंजन यू गाइज आर राइट यू गाइज यू आर द ओनली वन यू आर राइट इट्स द मू क्वीन बी थ्री द होल आइडिया बींग defending f7 and threatening d3 and a checkmate here that is the whole reason man oh she's gone king c1 no oh my god okay but will her opponent find queen b3 that's still a task to do when you have such a tempting move in the air bishop a3 but come on this was not easy as we know king c1 as i said to you bus very natural move very very natural move what tactics in this game man no matter what happens priyanka has still played amazing and really hats off to her okay will her opponent find it's like you find queen b3 and the computer says minus 50 if you don't find it's like 0.0 50 ka difference 50 rupees ka nahi hai what is the difference in the prize money in the you know when you move to round 2 i don't know but crazy no priyanka needed a draw otherwise if she loses it's a knockout she will be knocked out so a draw is a must we have to wait and see this is the i think final critical moment if her opponent if her opponent finds queen b3 priyanka will be losing of course i mean never lost until you lose but this move is very very tough but marino has 3 minutes oof this one is definitely a क्रेजी सिचुएशन देर क्या ही खेला था द होल कॉम्बिनेशन ओ ओ शी डिन फाइन बिशो बेहतरी चेक क्या बात है बैक इन द गेम गाइस क्या ही चल रहा है ये गेम में लग रहा है कि प्रियंका इज गोइंग टू गो टू टाई ब्रेक्स दिस इज दिस इज क्रेजी इफ शी गोज इन टाई ब्रेक्स आई थिंक प्रियंका विल हैव बेटर एडवांटेज डिन फाइंड इट Mayur says king a1 on that move is like defending in a king queen versus king pawn on the seventh rank. <laughs> yeah, that is true. That is true. Oh, this was brilliant. Maza aa raha hai yaar. Ye kya hi game chal raha hai. Queen f1 check. Now I believe there is a perpetual there. King c2, queen c4, king d1, queen f1, queen f1. Matlab socho na, you have 2 3 minutes. They they must be so tired. the game was full of tactics and not normal tactics okay this game had some very very weird tactics absolutely but the way she found counter play imagine this pawn f4 f5 f6 uh, went to fg and then ye jo queen hai na queen this didn't exist it's a reincarnated queen here which you see it it's not the d1 queen so it it is a it was a crazy crazy game there and even now with like priyanka is a piece up but this queen is like just waiting here king c2 
if queen c4 check i think that would be a fair result a draw would be a fair result will marina try will marina try to do something like imagine once again it looks so tempting ki are d3 check and there is a mating net but no there is no mating net king b3 aa raha hai shanti se it's attacking so queen c4 check by marino marina i keep messing up with brunello and marina as marino but okay maybe that's the nickname we can give her divya's game is drawn okay that's the news divya's game is drawn she moves to round 2 Gaurav asks, "How much time did she have when she made this uh, bishop a three check? I think she had, uh, she had around three minutes, like when she made the move. Yeah, king b one. Oh, look at this. Priyanka actually did not even go king d. Ha, here you cannot go king d one. Obviously, it's not even a perpetual in this way. There is a check, so she goes king b one." wow that's alert she's alert not like me of course that's why she's there <laughs> king b1 there but looks so scary i mean what about queen b3 check looks so scary dekho ye knight jo college ke katte pe baitha tha kab se taking care ki kuch to is you know as a taking care ye chor nahi aa rahe college mein something like that <laughs> king a1 and funnily देर इज नो मेट क्वीन डी वन चेक आ गया ओ माई गॉड गाइज कैन यू बिलीव अ मू लाइक बिशप सी वन कैन ऑल्सो वर्क बिकॉज देर इज नो मेट येस यू आर लूजिंग अ पीस बैक बट दिस इज बींग अटैक्ट यू डोंट हैव अ चेक वॉट इफ डी थ्री आई ओके आई स्टिल डोंट थिंक आई स्टिल थिंक एनी थिंग कैन हैपन इन दिस गेम बिकॉज इट इज सच अ गेम वेर एवरी मोमेंट i would say white needs to be accurate more than black so it's still not it's a little too soon to be too happy but oof this is the crazy game kya hi kar diya hai r40 moves are are dark hustler 40 moves ho gaya tension ho gaya sab kuch ho gaya hai now this is the final 3 plus 3 minutes plus 2 it's like we are looking at a blitz game here in some way but yeah they do have 30 seconds increment king a1 i'm sure she will give this check okay what if queen a4 but you have queen f7 check i i just feel that once queen f7 check comes then white um, white also gets perpetual ideas plus this g pawn nikki pedia says she got this don't worry okay that's helpful nikki By the way, Divya's game has uh, been a draw, as told. Uh, what about Nandita? Any update there? Not moving from this game because it's very interesting. But if there is anything which is hay hay wired, then let me know. Okay, her opponent is still thinking. She is down to one minute twenty six seconds. And I've just changed the updated the score for Divya here so that people don't get confused. And yeah, I think I've been successful in updating all the scores. She's still thinking. ऐसे ही है तो पोजिशन बिकॉज दिस इज सो टेम्पिंग क्वीन चेक क्वीन टेक्स ए फोर एवरीथिंग इज सो टेम्पिंग प्लस यू फील लाइक अरे मेट क्यों नहीं हो रहा है यू नो मेनी टाइम्स दिस इज अ पोजिशन वेर यू फील कि मेट मिलना चाहिए मेट मिलना चाहिए मेरे को नहीं मिल रहा है आई एम नॉट एबल टू फाइंड इट रहेगा देन यू थिंक ओ इफ कंप्यूटर को दिया कंप्यूटर विल पक्का फाइंड अ मेट यू नो दैट इज ऑल्सो समटाइम्स द वे यू थिंक कि कंप्यूटर विल फाइंड इट लेट मी ट्राई लेट मी ट्राई सो who knows what what is going on in marina's head but surely we understand if she is taking so much time here 
Will they have extra time after move 16? No, 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 they will not. She goes bishop b4 here and what a move. Queen a4 check is threatened. Bishop d2 is threatened. What a practical move Marina has found. Queen e8. Oh, Priyanka is so alert. This was the only move you had to defend this guy here. The knight here. Important. Important that you don't take this and make a blunder because then there is a check and then you take this and the queen end game would be lost. So Priyanka was alert. She defends and then they give repeat because they get 30 seconds increment there. So queen a3 moves queen d2. Okay. Now, now white once again in a spot where to go with the king. It's all the time these decisions here, not easy, but yeah, this is not that position which we were right until now struggling with that only move, only move. Oh, are they repeating? Could be possible that Marina is like, okay, ye queen bhi abhi aa rahi hai. Bohut ho gaya calculation. Sometimes they can repeat even by tiredness. Tiebreaker will be tomorrow. Yes, Rushi at the same time. Nandida lost. Acha, Nandida lost. Okay, got it. So this is the last game of today which is going on. If it ends in a draw, then it will go into a tie break. If Priyanka loses, then she will be knocked out and it has been one of the most crazy game of today so a draw would be an amazing result there king b1 marina also is you know the way she is trying to find something something Whoa. It's, it's nice to see that nice to see this fighting game Okay, what do you do? I But I think now they might repeat. Or will she go bishop d2? Because the main thing is white's king is exposed. Ah, we'll just see, wait and watch. Oh, is Priyanka having 4 minutes? Okay, king b1. Acha, they are repeating. Must be tired. King a1. Repeated second time, right? It's twice. They've repeated twice. Will she repeat the last time? Many times you can repeat twice because you get the time, additional time. So you see now she's, she had some 10 seconds while she was repeating. But Marina would be really wanting to try and see if she can find something because her pieces are closer to this exposed king. Oh yes, she did play queen d2. She did not repeat. And now... The game goes on, guys. There is no perpetual yet. It goes on. Queen takes f7. Will Priyanka take the pawn? Yes, she will have to. Or if there is any simple perpetual with queen d7, then she will go for that. Oh, isn't it queen check here? Then queen c6 check. Oops. And then king goes to a5. Oh, the king is coming closer. I would be very scared to risk that. Yeah, this looks safer for sure on this diagonal. Queen takes f7. But the game goes on. Game goes on. Nandida has lost. So she is knocked out of this event. I think a little bit of a sad thing for her and for India. But she did her best. So, yeah. Guys, what is going in this game? What is your prediction for this game? Because whatever it is, it's just not happening simply. So, yeah, she takes the pawn. Queen f7. I like that. Whatever at least you have picked up one more pawn. Plus, if it goes to anything like knight bishop, this g pawn is going to be irritating. Uh, thank you, Abigo. But ye to aage aage dekho hota hai kya this is just a first round. Abhi to kal tie breaks. And then round two where all the other players will chip in. Maza a jayega. King a6. 
Now what do you do? Okay, this king, as we know, king is a piece in the end game. And imagine the king reaches a three. It's it will get very scary. Also with this pawn here, because this pawn is quite dangerous. It can queen with the check, unlike this pawn. So white needs to be alert. It's not an easy position. So Jonah, if you are given, if you are asked white chahiye, black chahiye, this is the position we will play with. Obviously, you are going to take black. You are a pawn up. This king is exposed. You have a bishop. The knight is at the edge of the board. Will she give a check? Oh, she gives queen c4 check now. So only two options there, king b7 and king a5. If she goes king b7, in a way we can say, ki, okay, they are repeating. I think if she wants more time still, she might go queen b7. But then you also have queen b5 check. And that, yeah, so she goes king a5. Very, very natural. Now, make sure that you don't blunder. Yes, knight b2 is a good move. Very good move. Firstly, you can see knights are the best block header. So the pawn is top. You do feel scared about this pin here. Bishop in and especially that if it goes to king pawn end game. But if all of you know the rule of the square, this g pawn, ye hai hero is game ka. It's going to be the hero because it will never allow it to go to the king pawn end game because it will just queen. The king is too far from this square. So queen c5 check. Anyway, it's not even going there. The king cannot go anywhere here. King a6 only move. And there you have, I guess, it's the final perpetual without any doubt. It's going to end in a draw. Oof. Ah, maza gaya. Crazy tha. Ye game crazy tha, guys. Priyanka OP. Matlab, th there were these few situations where she had to, matlab, she might have missed number of moments, okay? But a few situations where she had to find those moves. Those were not easy, man. I mean, very, very tough moves. So, Priyanka OP. Maza gaya. What a, we didn't, never even thought that this is going to get so exciting. That moment and it's a draw. Well done, Priyanka. You go into the try break. All of you who had missed, I want to show you that one moment. It was a crazy moment. This was a moment where Priyanka played f6 and her opponent had to play gf6. Gf6 and then bishop c2. Obviously, Priyanka would not have taken gf6. She would have played knight b2 attacking this guy here. But that was the whole point. If takes, then bishop c2. But what her opponent did was direct bishop c2. And at this point, Priyanka was so accurate. King b2 was a very, very important move. The first important move in this combination. Then your, she took this, takes, queens, moves, king a2. Again, very important move. Check. King b1, once again, a very important move. King b2 had queen b5 and some uh, crazy things there. So, king b1, queen d3 check. And here, yes, she did make a mistake. But this was such a natural mistake, as I was saying. Very hard to make a move like king a1. Very hard to make such a move. But for king c1, her opponent also saw the same thing. Oh, bishop a3 check. Because who will find a move like queen b3 here? The whole idea with d3 and checkmate idea. I mean, it's so tough, man. Also defending this. Bishop a3 check. King d1. Taking it into such a kind of pin. Check. Ah. And now your king a1. Maza uh, Maza man. Well played, Priyanka. And this is the result of today, guys. I'm just going to change for, um, I'm just going to change for Priyanka. She has gone into tie break tomorrow.
one. Okay. So that's the updated score. So we have today one one player who is knocked out of this tournament, and that is Nandida. But still, a big congratulations to her. She did try her best there. Uh, then we have how many of them have actually moved to round two? SL Abhimanyu, Karthik. Three in me. Open sec section have moved to round two. Uh, SL will play either. Let me just show you who they are going to play very quickly here. In the next round, SL Narayanan is going to play the winner of Tisir Muhammad or Yuri Kuzubo. He'll play winner of this matchup and uh, he moves to round two. Abhimanyu will play Swidler uh, in round two. Adiban goes to tie break and it's important if Adiban manages to beat Henderson, then he will play against Daniel Dubo. Karthik won against Gregory Kaidenau. Amazing games they both had and he will be playing Hikaru Nakamura. Most exciting matchup in round two. Harsha lost today against Levan. So tomorrow he will go in tie break and it's an important matchup because the whole fight is to play with Magnus Carlsen. Divya drew her game today but she enters round 2 and she will be playing in the next round. Uh, Hon, uh, Hoan Than Trang. Uh, Nandida yeah, was knocked out by Chinese player Tianqi Yan. Marianne Gomes beat Yaniela Forgas in the like today her game ended in a draw but she won this match and Mary will be playing Katerina Lano in the next round. Now that's going to be an exciting matchup as well and Priyanka is right now uh, enter, has entered into a tie break with Marina but if tomorrow Priyanka manages to beat Marina then she will be paired against Koneru Hampi. Okay. Those are the updates guys. These are the players they will be playing. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 of the players out of 9 moving to round, round 2. And we have 3 tie breaks tomorrow. So tomorrow we will be here watching Adiban, Harsha and Priyanka's tie break. Okay. Uh, and then it will go to round 2. So how was it guys? Did you enjoy? Did you enjoy today? Did you enjoy? Which game was your favorite today? Tell me which was your favorite game for today? And in round two of course all of our um, top seeded gang will follow up. Also amazing uh, bars we had in the middle game so Mazaya. Abhigo says, very good and long stream. I like Abhiman News game. Oh, nice. Yeah, 5 out of 9 right now. Karthik's game, says Guru. Bhavana also says Karthik's game. Nice. Kishan Sagar is in Baku. Aditya says, some bullet please. Matlab, I will uh, stay malnourished and I will tomorrow... Will not exist. <laughs> so Karthik ka game masta. Mujhe, I definitely loved uh, Karthik's game. Maza aya. I loved Priyanka's uh, game. Bohut amazing tactics were there. Just too good. Uh, it will be memorable. Yes, Akshata. Very, very true. Very memorable. I mean, these kind of tactics we don't get to see so often. And a lot to learn. So two good tactics, I would say. Okay, so that was it. Thank you so much. All of you who stayed back, who watched till the end, who enjoyed, who got so much learning. That's the most important thing, I believe, uh, from the streams that you should be able to learn, to get new ideas, to get new tactical patterns, to understand these exceptional situations and all of it. So that is our main aim that you improve by watching these streams. So thank you so much. 
and tomorrow we will see each other again at 4:30 uh follow uh, and will follow three three players from india okay that was it have a great day ahead khush raho and oh by the way our poll has uh, end is i am ending the poll the results are out <laughs> <laughs> it's intermediate commentary is what people love the most on chess base india 46% so theek hai i think we are doing intermediate i believe and once again a big super chat from joy datta uh, 4499 rupees so thank you joy so much for always following chess base india and a very happy birthday to you today okay so guys see you tomorrow